Want to see a meta trick? Yeah. I can't see the comments. Yeah. Yes. All right. Awesome. So pick a number. Yeah, I can't. I can't see the comments. Unfortunately. Here I come, y'all. Okay, here it comes. I see comments now. What's up, y'all? All right, so we about to check out some horrifyingly scary dating moments. Bruh. Mediocre. All right, so there's this, uh, there's this really funny there's this really funny meme situation that, that that popped up where this girl was like asking this guy to pay for her and all of her dudes, like all of her people's food and shit. Professor Bridge. I've never seen this shit before, but I've really wanted to see it. So we about to react to some terrible, horrible dating. So what happened in this one? Just, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I wanna make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Yes. Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So, so this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your rise. view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic. Yep, there we go. <laughs> ah! Bro, I love it. Female gets, female gets asked to prove her point and then just immediately goes into, well, this is transphobic. <laughs> this is racist somehow. Um, and it opens yep. up trans people to violence. There it goes. Ah! I'm it's denying that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking are you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that there, uh, men can get pregnant? No, no. I don't think women can <laughs> so get pregnant. So you are denying that trans people exist? Thank and that leads to violence? Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you? Absolutely. Or are they also treated like this? Where no, no, no. They're, they're told that to they're at opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow. I, I would learn a lot. I've learned you, a lot I just know. in this exchange. Absolutely. Extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> bro right there. i should have named i should have right named there. this so believe it or not i looked this bro i should have named this reaction i should name this video reacting to crazy bitches bro <clears throat> crazy females my nigga <laughs> young lady up and get this she is a law professor Oh no. At UC Berkeley. Yep. Oh no. A law professor who's supposed no. to be an expert in logic. No. But instead, she's an expert in the woke. And crazy shit is if she treats a sitting member of Congress like this, imagine what she does to the average man or the average person or just Whoa. anyone else in her classroom that disagrees with her. She's literally insane, passive aggressive, with Whoa. a hint and dash of woke mixed in with a little bit of pure hatred and it just seeps through her pores. But even more crazy than all of that is that she's allowed to teach young adults this garbage. Believing that a man could become pregnant is the same thing as believing that two plus two equals five. And the congressman wasn't even being argumentative or aggressive, but it should give you an indication of the modern Western woke society today where even she 
is trying to weaponize his words. I have never and will never flirt with a man for a free drink. Are you kidding me? Paying compliments for cocktails is simply not worth it and a complete waste of time. However, I did manipulate men into buying me drinks by simply capitalizing on their egos. Now, I don't do this anymore. What? When I was a broke college student, I would walk into a bar looking fine as fuck and wait for some drunk, unruly man to approach me. After basic introductions are made and I get the feeling that he has something to prove, I look him up and down and say, you look like you're a big spender. Are you rich? These poor sons of bitches, their chest puffs up and they say, I do okay for myself, and that's my cue to say, well, then I guess you wouldn't mind buying me a drink, right? And usually this is met with no contest. They buy me a drink and I dip because duh, but Bro, I contest the hell out of this shit, man. I ain't I ain't buy, been here with you for a minute, man. Outlast not scary. Bro, I appreciate you, yo. Bruh. I'm just in here watching these videos of, of some just some crazy females, man. We just gonna listen to some crazy females. If any of y'all ever hear any of that, I might share a dating story. You know what I mean? I might share a dating story here and there. But, uh, but if y'all ever run into any females that exude any of this type of behavior, run for your lives. Run for your lives. It is not worth it. <laughs> the juice is not worth the squeeze. The vagina is not worth the squeeze. <laughs> that's, a, that's a new one I'm going to start saying. Sometimes there's a little resistance. She just said before that she will have never or will never flirt with a man for a free drink, but she's literally flirting right Yo, now. She's unknown? literally explaining how she used to flirt. Minya you Lisa. just can't make this shit up. Let's get back in it, though. Interphase two. Question their integrity. Minya, I was like, Yo, Visible Hulk, bro. Thank you for the donation, Yo. That's what they do. And because this man is drunk, has something to prove, and is undoubtedly trying to impress you, he will buckle and buy you that drink, baby. You're questioning whether or not he's an honest man. He has to prove himself somehow, right? Congratulations, you got a free drink, and you didn't have to compliment a man. Holy moly. <laughs> Listen, nice, real women of today, this is your enemy. This is what happens when you don't hold women accountable. They use their natural feminine gifts and the natural art of manipulation mm -hmm in order to create a bad image and or name. He's gonna play for now. Oh my God, bro, I've been trying to avoid that shit, man. I don't play that shit. Okay, shit. Fine. I will play. I will play for now, shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I right. I'm gonna play some FNAF. Yo, can you change the, um? Cool, cool. I'm changing over. Hmm? Um, beating for now. <laughs> <clears throat> scaring, scaring the hell out of myself. Playing FNAF games. Mm. Replaying, replaying Five Nights at Freddy's. All right, y'all, I've been trying to avoid playing this shit, bro, because it scared the shit out of me yesterday, bro. It really did. It really did, bro. I was playing this shit, man. Madison is almost done. Oh, Madison is terrible. All right, so, oh, damn. See, FNAF security breach ain't done either. So I was going to I was gonna play that shit. All right, cool. We'll play the first one. Oh God, Jesus, take the will. Jesus, literally take the will. I don't want to do this. Oh my God, Jesus, take the will. They say you're supposed to do what you're afraid of. <laughs> really? Is that a real thing? No problem. I'm still mad on that bullshit, but this little boy tried to pull on you. Eh, I'm used to it. You know what I mean? Now, I, see, look, I mean, that's just the way it goes in entertainment, I suppose. I don't understand it, but like, people just, no, why? People just try to take you down a notch. And if you're not really doing anything jacked up, then people will literally come at you with like, you know I mean, oh man, yeah, you're, you're abusing kids. And I don't have any truth. I don't have any proof, but you know, <laughs> we all know you're doing it. <laughs> Totally. Uh, this. <laughs> what? Bro. So when I did, I but uh, but yeah, you know, already been accused of uh, molestation. Totally got accused of what? Randy accused me of 
hiring her to try to get some vagina from her. <laughs> Even though she literally threw the pussy at me like 10 years ago. And I just said no because, you know. Ah! 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 Fucking what? Come on! Why? Why? I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. But yo, but yeah, be real careful, guys. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? But me, I already understand this kind of just comes with the territory of being a public figure. You know what I mean? Like, some people really want to see you go down. And it doesn't, they don't care if they got to lie. They don't care if, what they have to say. Like, if they, if, if me having unprotected sex with ducks would be the thing that would, would be, get, that would get me canceled as long as they didn't have to have evidence for it to work. You know, it's kind of like the whole Amber, uh, uh, Amber, it's not Amber Rose. I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm kind of scared while I'm doing this. Ho! Ho! I'm kind of scared. <laughs> just getting a little scared. But, uh, but yeah, it, that's just how it works. You know, it's all about, you know, just not really caring. Especially when people just come up with weird lies and shit. That's what I'm saying. I told Bills. I told that fat snuffle up against built ass nigga. Yo, bring me proof. I'm gonna beat y'all. I'm gonna smack you in your mouth when I see you, Bills. You know what I mean? If you, I tell you, and you can keep me from smacking you in the mouth by just showing me some proof that I've boned some kids or that I'm really out here trying to do that. So show me some proof. And I'm not beat you the fuck up, Bills. So I suggest you get the detective, nigga. <laughs> Cause when I see you, I'm slapping the fuck out of you. Oh God, oh God. This is good, this is bad. This isn't good. This isn't good. Yeah, you know I mean, like bro, people will say anything, but yo, I really appreciate those people who lied on me though. Shit. I really appreciate those people who lied on me though. Like, you know what I mean? Brandy, Randy, and all the other dumbasses, Bills and all those weirdos. Because all they've done is just like kind of help me in a weird way. You know, because now whenever somebody comes out and die, decides to lie on my name again, people are just gonna be like, but wait, like all of these other people tried lying on him and it's very easily seen as lies. So like, you're probably lying too. You know, da 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 da. Dumbasses. Shit! 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 Okay, no. We got this. We got this. We got this. Get out of here! Get away from the door! Get out of here! Shit! This isn't good. This isn't good. <laughs> this isn't good. I'm not scared. I'm not gonna cry! I'm not gonna cry! Help! What's that? I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Nope. Yo. Randy, by the way. Yeah, what's up, Drifting Re Reaper? Bro. Oh my God! No! No! I don't have the blood that you crave! Please! <laughs> no, I don't want to live. <laughs> Shit! Damn it! Okay, look, you know what? We good. We good. We good. I've been watching the videos for uh, since I was nine years old. I'm 18 now. What's that? Help! God damn it! Damn it! It was a donation notification. Scared the shit out of me. Your videos have always. Oh no 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 no! Oh oh no! No 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 no! No 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 no! Your videos have always been pure entertainment. Keep up the hard work. <laughs> Dude.
do it for the kids. Oh boy. Huh. Mm. But yeah, you know, also another reason why I'm glad that they came out and said that type of stuff about me is because like now people will stop commenting to me, go back to your real friends. I'm like, nigga, now like now y'all can see why I had to escape. Nigga, I don't just leave my employees for nothing. The niggas wasn't shit. I just didn't feel like telling everybody about how shitty they was, but they told y'all themselves, so. <laughs> I still can't, bro, the funniest part about that whole situation was Brandy, dude. This bitch gets on, gets on camera and is like, oh my God, yeah, he's totally after kids. But at the same time, he just keeps dating attractive of age bad bitches. How does he get so many attractive women? I don't get it. I just need to know. I need to find out. So yeah. So, you know what I mean? But this is stuff that I've already known about female nature for a long time. You know what I mean? Like, Brandy is super duper obsessed with this dick because she can't get any of it. You know what I mean? And she has been for like 15 years and is mad at me because I won't smash. So, you know, if you can't beat him, if you can't, if you can't get him, then, you know, oh God, then, you know, kill him. And that's what she tried to do. It's either that or Brandy is in love with a pedophile. <laughs> yes, I know he likes kids, but I just want him. He's so hot. Like, I've never heard someone say that. <laughs> I've never heard someone, I've never heard a female say that. You know? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's totally into kids, but I just love him so much. Like, there's something about him. You know, like, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> oh, man. Brandy can eat a hot dog. Bro, she asked to eat my hot dog, bro. I told her no. You know what I mean? And it's not because she was ugly, but because her her attitude is so masculine, bro. You know what I mean? She has a very manly attitude. She wants to come into your house with all of your equipment, all of your shit, and tell you how to run your shit. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Jada Harris, what's up, bro? No! 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 Hell! What do I do, guys? I'm scared! What do I do? He's playing Ferris wheel music! What do I do? Do I close the door? No! No! He's in the kitchen! What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, honestly, to keep it real with you, bro, like that whole, them allegations they tried to throw at me, that bothered me, at, that didn't bother me at all. Like, you know what I mean? The only way that stuff would bother me is if there was like at least a little bit of hint of truth in the shit, but there's not. So it bothered me, not at all. The only thing Bills did, what the fuck is going on? The only thing Bills accomplished with that video is literally getting himself beat the fuck up when I see him. You know what I mean? That's literally it. Oh God. You're gonna play FNAF Help Wanted? Yes, I, yeah, I'm gonna play that. You know what, I, I'm gonna play that today because I've never played that game, I don't think. What's that game about? Oh my God, and, and by the way, thank you Super Mario Raymond for the donation, bro. I'm so scared, I'm forgetting to call out donations. I don't know what to do. Freddy's in the kitchen. This nigga's whipping up the babies, I think. He's probably, oh God. Okay, Bonnie was in there. No, no, where is he? What is he doing? Men's tough as a rock. I mean, you know, I, yeah, I appreciate you, Rock. I appreciate you, Rock. What the fuck is that? Oh! Help! Help! Ah! 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 <laughs> no! No! Slightly backwards logic. What's 
backwards logic. What's my what logic is backwards drifting? Oh my god. No. 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 Help! <laughs> Help! Nigga! Yeah, that's some some that's some weird obsessive activity, bruh. You know what I mean? Oh god! And the white Chrysler. And the white Chrysler with the custom BHD LED speakers in the trunk was fire and pure horse power. Yeah, I'm gonna get something like that. Probably the same thing a little bit later on. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna get a Lambo next time. You know what I mean? But uh, but yeah, guys, be careful. You know, cause like, bro, a woman scorned is pissed. Which is weird, cause I never even scorned Brandy. Like I literally paid this bitch. Like I literally paid her to do a job. She, I would pay her and she like kept fucking the job up. So I fired the bitch. You know what I mean, but but that's why that's why I tend to stay away from masculine women because you know they want masculine women want to be treated like they're feminine women, but they're not because they're not feminine. So when you don't like you know kiss their ass or whatever, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh my god! 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 I'm scared. I'm scared! Guys! Help! Oh! Motherfuck! <laughs> Shit! You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of games I haven't beat, and I told y'all I was going to beat these games. So, so, I'm trying. It's okay, reload up for another round, bro. How's it been, Blast? Bro, things have been awesome. Just got back from DreamCon, had a great time talking to people. You know what I mean? Was kicking it with a whole bunch of, you know, Slep City, King Vader, you know, Link Cuisine, you know, mad, mad cool content creators. And it's funny too, cause like, you know what I mean? It was weird, cause I was talking to them, bro. They was just like, bro, yeah, that shit just happens, dude. You know what I mean? Like, you know. Nothing worse than a, nothing worse than a, I'm not even gonna say, nothing worse than an unambitious loser, bro. It's gonna call me dumb. That's how you feel? We call, we name calling is what we doing. Shit. Cameras. Cam 4, Cam 4B, 2B, 4A, 1C. God, no! 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 Shit! I hate this job! This job sucks! Who would work? Would any of you guys ever work here? You seen RDC there? Yeah! RDC be mad cool, bro. Vince, this nigga's in the kitchen. This nigga is in the kitchen, bro. I'm past this. I'm telling you, man, I'm gonna pass this. Shit. Stay behind that god. You, you stay behind that goddamn curtain, Foxy. I swear to God. I fatten your upper lip. Did I see Logan Paul? I did not see Logan Paul there. I don't know if he went. I did not see him there. What's that? Shit, Foxy's out. Okay. You know what? After this, we're going to play like a new FNAF game. Like a different one. Like FNAF. 
help wanted or some shit. Oh hell no. Uh Huh? Oh, I bet you can. Uh How about You got what 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 FNAF game y'all want me to play, bro? Y'all want me to play Cause I was thinking about the joy of creation, bro. The one where you gotta run from that motherfucker, yo. Cause I, I don't think I ever passed that shit either. Uh, oh god. Oh boy. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I'm trying to I'm trying to get braver, bro, by playing scary stuff. Okay. I'm training my bravery. FNAF 2 or 4. You guys want me to play FNAF? A lot of you guys are saying FNAF 4. Oh my god. Oh my god. This nigga moving. Oh god! No! Dirty motherfucker! Freaking whore! Slut! Oh, what's that? Hey, I didn't mean it. I was joking. The plan. Please. Oh, God. Joy of Creation. All right, I'll play some Joy of Creation. All right, we'll do some Joy of Creation. Oh, nigga. I don't know why I would ever take this job. Hey, bro, like, keep it real, though. If your family was, like, super-duper hungry, like they starving and shit, would y'all take this job for $4 an hour? And you had you had no other choice to make money. Laz, do you know the actual story of FNAF? Uh, a little bit of it. What the, was that? What the fuck was that? Hey! 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 Oh, this nigga playing Ferris wheel music again! Read this shit. Oh no. Okay, there's. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, we good. Walk it off. Shake it off. We got. It. God damn. Yeah. I heard. That didn't sound good. That didn't sound good. How do I? Oh, he's right there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey guys, how do I know when I can open up the left door, the right door? He's in there, man. He's in there, man. Freddy is coming for that ass. He can't have any. On the left, I already closed the ah! Stupid duck. shit nigga they gave me a strap to clap back at their ass yeah <laughs> you need oh my god man oh god okay all right i see what okay all right help <coughs> help somebody send hot cheetos and bad bitches oh stop it's not looking good, my niggas. It's not looking good for your boy. Why? <laughs> I don't deserve any of this. <laughs> oh. I'm good for the most part. What's this? Oh, oh. I got some hot Doritos if you like. Hey, look, hey, hey, you better email that to me. Don't play. Just, like, just gonna keep his face pressed up against the security cam, huh? Freddy, you get your black ass the hell away from the cap. What was that? No, 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 no. Ha ha ha!
No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm not, I'm not! Oh, bitch! This ain't shit! This ain't shit! cry. Man, I don't know how to fake cry, actually. I'm not as good as an actor. The fuck is this? Get out the kitchen! No! No! Get out the kitchen! This isn't funny. Watch your six. Bro, I'm worried about my nine, nigga. Hey, BHD. Hey, what's up, Horror Squad Gaming? What's that? What the fuck was that? You guys hear that shit? You guys hear that shit? Hey, if you're gonna sit in the broom closet, Bonnie, at least clean some shit. Lazy bastard. He's gonna sit there and shit. Foxy, I swear to God. If you come running out that damn gate, I'm gonna slap you right in the face with my penis. You know, I'm gonna edit that out. Oh! Damn it. This nigga's in the kitchen playing Ferris wheel music again. I'm not Mexican, Freddy. I'm, I'm sick of this, this racist shit. All right. All right. Fuck glass, nigga, you telling me? After you should watch the walking files, I assure you. Nah, bro. I don't know about that, bro. I I, I watched some other. I, I tried watching some other shit y'all told me to watch last night, and that shit was whack as. That shit was boring as shit, yo. I don't do this. I don't do this. I don't do this. I don't do this. I'm from the streets, man. Okay, I'm from the hood. Yes, neighbor. Is now you know. The hood as in neighborhood, as in suburban neighborhood, but still the hood nonetheless. It's all pink streets. You ever played FNAF VR? Unfortunately, I just this in there. Oh my God, we're fucked. It's over, man. It's all over, bro. We might as well bend down and kiss. What's that? Hey, hey, hold on now, mom. Hold on now. No! No! Case animatronics. Play Iron Lung? Bruh. Flip the cameras? What does flipping the cameras do? What does flipping the cameras do? Bro, this is some bullshit, nigga. What's Iron Lung about? Told you to watch your six. That, shut up, that was, he didn't even come from a six. Okay, he came from a three. 
It's okay, my child. Close the right door on them. Only when you're about to use the camera to check for foxes. It'll save you power and ensure Fred doesn't move in. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Yeah, it might have been five. It was probably close to five. Oh my God. Freddy is already out. I don't deserve this. Blast, you're from the gutter. Pretty much. You know, I mean, I really appreciate it though, because I learned a lot of valuable life lessons that I probably would have never learned had I grown up in like really nice areas and whatnot. Like, number one, I learned never trust a woman unless you're, unless you can make her nut. You know what I mean? Because like where I'm from, that's how you get set up. Is girls acting like they like you, you hang out with them, and then they tell they sugar, or they tell they, uh, they tell they pimp where you live at, and then you get your house robbed. That's how my sister's father got murdered. What's this? What's this? Who's banging? Who's knocking? You cannot get it. I won't let you in. I am here to do security, bitch. All right? You stay in your cages like good little Mexican children. Get back in your cage. Shit. Shit. No. No. I don't see Freddy. Help. Help! He's playing Ferris wheel music again. Okay, he's not close though. Okay, all right. Shake it off. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. We good, my nigga. We good. What the fuck is that? I heard that. That was loud. I get close. Back. Boom, check that. Freddy, okay, he good. No, is he in there? Where the hell is he? We looking good, guys. Shit, it's, no, it's all bad now. Shit. Foxy's about to come out. Yeah, I'm, I'm not scared, guys. I'm just really cautious. This is bad. This is real bad. When you start a night, if you keep your eye on Freddy while he's on stage, he will not leave the stage. Really? Okay. Okay, that's a good idea. Thanks. I'm going to use that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where's Freddy? Oh, shit! The nigga in there. Nigga. Nigga. What is that? Do I close the right door now? Help! Come on, guys. It's not that... Don't do this to me now. All right, now... I've even seen one of you guys' stages on shows. Now I come through to eat some pizza. I'm just trying to... Oh, God! I heard that nigga. I heard that nigga. He, he moving. He moving. Oh, God. He's right there. He's got his face up against the camera. Guys, what do I do? What do I do? Different for now. Oh my god, no. Cool. We're downloading a different FNAF game right now. As I try not to get my anus gaffled. Oh shit, he still got his face in the camera. 
How long does it take for him to get his face out the camera? You're about one clinch away from pooping yourself. I'm not gonna say that's a yes, but. Uh. Don't panic. Just make sure he can't get in. Ah! Shit! Get away from the camera! Damn it! Get out of here with that shit, Freddy! Shit! He stays there forever. How do I get him to get away from there? Oh! Douchebag! He's still in there. What do I do? No means no! Rape! <laughs> Whoa, rape! Bro! Open that up. He's gone. No. What do I do? You stare at him. Stare at him till he leaves. Really? Is this really gonna work? I don't know if it's working. Freddy doesn't leave when he gets to the corner. He just makes sure he doesn't get in. I'm losing power, bro. We got 10% left, bro. My nigga said, hey, bro, Dory, don't worry, man, you got this. And then right the next thing he says is, ah, I guess not. Oh, no, never mind. I didn't. Pair of draws. That looks to be the situation here. We're downloading a different FNAF game right now, but I am getting my ass gaffled. And it's not and it's not pleasurable. I did not give my consent. Or just use CTL and plus and press the nose. Man, kiss my ass, bro. I swear to God, I feel like that's a setup. There ain't no damn. What came? BHD, you got this. I'm trying. Well, you know, I mean, it, it could be worse. 
you know. Uh, remember, fight the good fight. Be strong. Oh, y'all got jokes. Metal claws in your ass. Pretty much. Ah! You do this to me! Well, how did the guards not think of bringing a gun? They probably couldn't afford it. Taking a job, working for freaking 17 cents an hour, my nigga. You, you, you ain't got no money. Freddy's out! Damn it! I can start doing Family Guy videos again uh, in a month. I mean, I know which ones to do that won't get me flagged, but, you know, oh god. But still, you know, I do have to wait a month. When is that Lil Nas X video, bro? I, I, I haven't watched any Lil Nas X. I literally do not watch Lil Nas X, bro. Like, there's no point. I'll listen to, I'll listen to his music, but I'm not gonna watch his videos because that nigga just wants to shake pussy and fucking boy vagina and all that fucking weirdo shit. And I don't want, I don't want to see any of that weird shit. So, you know, he's on his own. That new, he ain't miss me as a fan, though, man. He's got tons of fans. He don't need me. Yeah, I, last thing I want to see on camera is some goddamn pussy, bro. Fucking gross. Whoa. Yeah. All about nowadays, some people will try to shame you for not ex for not liking pussy as a grown ass man. Oh, what you don't like boy vagina? You don't support the LGBTQ community because you're not willing to bone some some of that. But I promised the part two. I'm, hey, what what part two or what? I'm not watching no more Lil Nas X videos, bro. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, is there something interesting? Shit. Shit. God, I almost just scared the shit out of myself just now. I could type paragraphs on tips for blast, but unfortunately, YouTube chat. Hey, so how do I keep Freddy from getting in here? You are like UFC? Yeah, I like UFC. It's 4 a.m., bro. We almost there. As long as I don't hate him solely because he's gay. Man, I don't give a fuck if he's gay. Oh, shit! I don't care if he's gay. i just not going to watch the shit. But I like li I listen to his music. He makes great music, bro. Panini is top five. One of my favorite songs of all time, bro. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? I even watched the music video clip of Panini. Because there's no dudes shaking naked anus in it. You know what I mean? But I'm not, I don't wanna, I, I'm not gonna watch no, no gay dudes. I don't wanna. Like that shit's fucking gross, man. You know what I mean? Woof. Makes me throw up a little bit. All right. God, what's that? What's that, man? 
What's that? What's that laughing, man? Leave me alone. Just let me win. Close all the doors. Do I close both the doors? Have Freddy by the door. Only close it when you enter the cam. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah, he's right there. Ah! Damn it! Nine more percent. Oh, I fucked up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Is did I just is he in? What do I do? What do I do? Help! King of G King of Guagua! Help! What do I do? Yo, Blast, a few tips for this game. One, Freddy gets stunned for a few seconds while looking at the camera he's on. Two, Foxy gets stunned if you turn on the cameras. This isn't good. Oh my god, no. 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 What's that? Hell! No! No! Subscribers, help! Oh my god! Yes! 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 In your face! In your face! We out here! <laughs> Is this the last night? Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, so this, this is the last night, right? Is this the last night? That. What's this? What's all this, bro? Hey! Chill! Chill! Chill, cuz! Chill! Seven nights? Nigga, it's called Five Nights at Freddy's. How the fuck is Seven Nights? Come on! That don't make no sense! Come on! Come on! That is not fair, bro. Bro, why they gonna lie to us like that? I enjoy your gaming videos, watching since 2015. I appreciate you, bros. I appreciate you, bro. Look, LOL. My God, Freddy's moving. Freddy's moving, bro. I don't want this. What the fuck is that? Who's in the vents? What's that squeaking sound? Is they fucking? Why? I hear that demon shit. Only check on Foxy and watch the other in the door. Oh my god, bro. This is mad. This isn't good. This isn't good. Night five is merely harder night four. Just stay calm and apply what you've done since the fourth night. You gotta be quicker. Just gotta be quicker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. Okay. Gay! 
Swiggity swooty. Yep. Then he go right there. Homie right there. Staying on cam 4B is also a strat. Shit! There are more nights. Fred is now in East Hall for the record. I appreciate you, bro. Oh, what the f was that? Y'all hear that shit? Oh, God. Yup. Huh? Suck it, jerk. Get away from the door. Damn it. That was bad. I don't like this. <laughs> nah, I feel like playing FNAF on my Switch, bro. Oh my god. At this point, every sound is scaring the hell out of me! Stop! Freddy! Shit! Yep, he's right there. Keep him at bay. Yeah, I'm trying. That was bad. Niggas in the kitchen, bro. Homies in there whipping up the work. No! No! Okay. We're screwed. We're screwed. Please, Lord, if you could see fit just to carry me to 6 a.m., I swear to God, I'll go to church this time. I think maybe. I'll go to church maybe. I'll stop cursing so much. I'll, uh, you know what I mean? That strategy didn't work good. Now tighten that anus. You know what this is. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Hey, is that is the game uh, downloaded? All right, what game is it? Is the one where I have to run from him? How do I check? Because I just died again. It was only one, like, five nights.
All right, y'all, I'm about to start up uh, the Joy of Creation. You know what I mean? Before that, I'm going to play with my nunchucks to hopefully make myself forget about the fact that I'm about to play Joy of Creations. Hmm. Really haven't changed one bit, have you? Wow. Hmm? Device. Hey Nick, the house. It's yours. Finally, after so long. Thanks, man. Have fun. Yep, this is this is what fun is. It's been years, decades at least, since I've been inside this house. I lived here when I was just a kid with my family. My mom, my siblings, my uh my dad. I received a call from Tobias telling me that they were finally ready with the repairs this morning. Took them long enough. <laughs> it's funny. Even after what happened, and all that time away from home, it looks just like I remembered it to be. Is my memory that precise? Uh, of course, things like the furniture and photos aren't here anymore, but hey, can't blame anybody for that. <laughs> right, right. I guess I better use that memory for something useful. I don't have the full story, nor do I know why it happened, but I can tell you how it started. Choose a memory. What the fuck? Bedroom? What the hell is going on? Bruh, what the fuck? Hey, yo, is this not the right one? This is not the one I'm running from. Uh, shit from. Yeah. Where was it? What is it? Yeah, yeah this. It might be the right one. I don't know if it is, though. Uh, hello? Uh, what are you doing in our house? After that, Dad carried the stranger to our guest room. He thanked me for convincing my parents to let him rest in our house for a- Hey, so which one's the one where I run? Oh, oh, oh so it's, um... So it's, uh, the Joy of Creation Reborn. Okay, that's understandable. Oh man, fuck this game. Hello? Hello, hello, uh, Nick? Uh, hey, little Nicky, it's me, Michael. And hey, you don't say anything back to me, okay? There are monsters around that'll hear you if you do. Now, don't be scared, Nick, okay? Listen to me, and we can defeat those monsters, alright? Okay, so these monsters might look, uh, Surreal. You know, don't look at them too long or you'll feel weird and see creepy things. When you do, turn on your desk lamp next to your bed. You'll feel safe there. But the more you stare at the scary monsters, the worse you'll feel. Alright? Uh, alright, alright, alright. Um, 
Okay, first things first. Uh, Freddy, uh, the fuzzy brown bear. Uh, he's at the window, Nick. Uh, he'll peek inside. Close your curtains and keep them closed until you hear him leave, or else he'll get inside. Uh, then there's Bonnie, the uh, ill-tempered big purple bunny. Uh, keep an eye on your door. He'll be there. Uh, he's not shy at all. Uh, he will knock on the door to let you know he's there. But once he opens the door, shut off the lights as fast as you can, Nicky. He can't see you well in the dark, and he'll leave. Uh, oh, but make sure you're sitting down when you do that, all right? Okay, uh, then there's the chicken. Um, that one's a little bit weird. Um, check the closets often. Uh, if she's peeking through, make sure to disable the lights. Uh, she doesn't want to be seen, but ignoring her doesn't help either. If she does catch you with the lights on, she'll scare you and stun you. Now look, I, I know this is a lot to take in, little Nikki, okay? Just, just listen carefully and try to remember it all. Please, okay? Alright, last is Foxy. Uh, he'll be right beneath your bed, Nick. You'll hear scraping from the bottom of the crib when he's there. Uh, be watchful if you see his hook on the back of your bed, because soon enough he'll be right there next to the bed. Uh, don't look directly at him, Nick. Instead, Pretend to sleep, all right? Just pretend to sleep, yeah. Just lie down without moving too much. Look up and close your eyes. Uh, Foxy sees eyes as if they're big, bright spotlights, okay? So if you pretend to sleep, he won't know you're there anymore. But don't open them until you know he's gone, okay? Okay, uh, so to recap, um, Freddy is at the window, so if you see him peeking, close the curtains until he's gone. Uh, Bonnie will knock on the door and open it afterwards, uh, disable the lights, and sit down until he leaves. Chica will try to stun you by scaring you, so if you see her peeking through the closet, shut off your lights and don't pretend to sleep. She'll think you're gone. And Foxy will appear under your crib and move upwards, so when he's next to your bed, pretend to sleep until you hear him leave. All right, you got all that? No. All right, good. Uh, listen, I have no. to little buddy. Okay, just hang in there. Uh, they'll leave at 6 a.m. I'm sure of it. What? This. What? No! Help! Dad! <laughs> Dad! What? What? What type of father is this? Okay, what do I do with this shit? Oh. 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 What's that? Ah! <laughs> Y'all hear that shit? Help! This is foster care! I hate fo- What? What the fuck is this? What is this? See, that's why I don't like scary games, bro, because it's like living through a nightmare, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Two knocks the first time, one knock now. Oh. 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 Help! Oh, fucking bitch! So yeah, when's that uh when's that other one going to be ready? God, I literally just hurt myself. That hurt so bad. Did you hear it? I smashed the back of my skull into my chair and it hurt. I haven't been hit that hard in a minute. I haven't been hit that hard by a human in a long time. That shit hurt. Yep, we're uh, we're setting up for for the other one. Good looks, bros. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play the other one because it, you know, that shit really fucking hurt, dude. Oh my god. 
Oh my God. God, dude. Oh, I bet. God, guys, that shit hurts so bad. Oh my God, not even physically, bro. I thought all of these look more terrifying than the last. This is not gonna be good. This is going to suck. I don't remember how to play this game. I was gonna say, let's watch scary videos. It's almost nighttime, so never mind. Ooh. What the fuck is it? Why am I outside? I don't remember this. Why am I outside? Can someone help me? I don't I, I don't remember being outside. I don't even know where I'm going. Which way do I go? Hey guys, I, I've never played this being outside shit. Oh, word. Is this a paper I gotta get like in Slender Man? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, it's gonna put me right back in it, huh? I don't know where I'm going! What am I collecting, guys? Help! Help me! 
collecting drawings. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know what to do. We got one. We got two. Okay. We got two. We got one, we got two. Okay, we got two. Okay. Then we go three. Is that three? Is that a drawing? Okay, that's a lie. Help, guys, I need help! What do I do, guys? Help! Give me some tips or tricks or something! Tell me something, my niggas! No! No! Guys, what do I do? It's coming! It's where I think it's close! Oh, is that a drawing? Piece of paper? Yeah. Turn up. Okay, we got seven more left. Subscribers, help! We're playing, subscribers! I'm serious! This is not, this is not a test! Subscribers! Please! Every now and then, you have to look back and keep going. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, you gotta look back. I'll be good. Fast as fuck, bruh. Fast as fuck, boy. Yeah. Five of them. Six of them. Four of them left. Fast as shit, boy. Fast as shit. Okay. All right, we got this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Subscribers, don't. Just run. Sing our Kelly. How is it gonna help me? Why I got a piss on this nigga? <laughs> okay, we got one. Okay. Five left. No. No! No! What's that? I hear something. No! I hear it! What if I pee out of self-defense? Okay. All right, just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. If you fail the mission, you need to die by Chica. What do you mean die by Chica, baby? This bitch got a pistol? I can hardly see. I can barely see. Bro, I don't trust this shit, bro. I don't trust this shit! Oh, okay. 
Okay, we good. Okay. Run them off. Oh, there's a paper. There's a paper. There's a paper. I see it. No! No, no, no! 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 chasing me I look back that nigga didn't stop was that not Chica man this shit's like slender man on cocaine bro no 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 This shit is, I can't see shit. Huh? Oh my god! Anything, dude. This shit is so black, dude. Hey, yo, can you guys press F? Oh! Flashlight. Why am I s Why am I so woozy in this shit, bro? Why is my nigga look like he on No, oh my god. God. Bro, why can't Why am I Why is my nigga woozy in this shit? Am I off that shit? Nigga Do y'all see this shit? Y'all see how woozy it is when I run? Like, what the fuck? Oh. Nigga. Okay. No! Coming, bro. This nigga coming. No. Retreat. <laughs> no. 
No! No! <laughs> this shit is the devil, nigga. You don't see me! Hey! Hey! No! No! Why would I rob this house? Fuck! No! I'm true to this. Now I remember why I stopped playing these games. Man. Hey, what's up, Kaiju Kirby? I stayed away from these fucking games. He's right outside. He's right outside. I think he can smell me. I hear him walking past. Oh my god. 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 Walking past. What's my Twitch? Bro. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. He's right there. He's right there. No, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I just live, oh my god, oh my god, no, you already looked in here, you already looked in here. I'm fast as fuck, boy! I'm fast as fuck! Huh? 
no, 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 Bruh, why would I pick this house to steal from? I gotta steal back? What's going on? No! Please, 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 please. Yo, the boss! Haha, <laughs> he got you, yeah, he really did. He got the shit out of me, bro. Oh shit. No. Shit. Man, fuck this objective bullshit, nigga. I'm trying to live. Oh my god. see me. You do not see me. Bro, man, I forgot how scary these games are, bro. PewDiePie really does deserve 100 million subscribers for doing this shit, bro. He really do. He deserves everything he has, bro. Oh my God. What the fuck? That tree have a penis? Man, fuck this. What the fuck is that? Ah! Shit! Bruh. Y'all niggas want me to play Five Nights at Anime, bro? Y'all niggas, niggas are wild. Oh my god, bro, you deserve any subs for playing this, man. Tell me I'm wrong. Bro, yeah, that's real shit, man. These games, this this, this shit is, is scary, bro. About to call y'all my pants, because you're full of shit. Bro, my pants is full of shit that playing this shit. That's for real, for real. Bro, that's for real, for real. Thanks for the donation, Sean Harner. Thanks for this $5 donation, the boss 121. Fuck. No, no, no! Fuck. How do you get scared before the jump scares? Nigga, I, my brain remembers what it's like and plays it for me right before the shit happens, as it happens, and right after. Okay? I'm a legitimately scary nigga, bruh. I ain't. The only reason why I started beating up bullies and fighting bullies back is because that was my only recourse. Telling teachers did oh, that's not good. Telling teachers didn't work. Oh no 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 no. Telling teachers didn't work. Yeah you know I mean like asking the bullies not to beat me the fuck up didn't work. 
The only thing people where I'm from understood was violence. Lots and lots of violence. That was it. I'm a pacifist by nature, bro. I don't even want to fight, bro. I don't even like to fight. I really don't. But where I'm from, that's the only thing that got people to not jump me and beat me up was being more violent than them. Oh God, I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Like most of my issues I, I ever have with dudes, I solve that shit with violence. Cause like, that's what I was taught. That's what I know from childhood. Oh hell no, this nigga crying. That's not good. You scared? Nigga, I am very scared! stealing guns and left me alone after that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get any of that. There was no guns, there was none of that. Like, if I if I did not fight, and even, where, what's even crazier is, like, oh my God. Bro, 34 South Savage. Hey, bro, thank you for the donation, bro. The pre, dude, the creatures in this game are scarier than my ex-wife. Bro, like, how scary is your ex-wife? Damn, damn, Sean Harner. The boss, never scared. Hey, look, that's a lie, okay? I only put that shit on a shirt to sell merch, my nigga. I, I, I am, I am very, fuck is that? Oh, oh, that's not good. No, no, no. Fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. I'm not gonna lie though, playing this game is low key inspiring me to like make a voiceover dub of this game. Yo, the boss, thank you for the donation, yo. Sean Harner, thank you for the donation, bros. I really appreciate y'all, yo. Best jump scare reaction, bro. Oh, I bet. It's because it's realistic. Who's this nigga running to? Who's this nigga running to? Have I ever been tempted to kill a man? Yeah, only about three times, two or three times, you know. But luckily enough for me, I understand, you know what I mean, like the value of not going to prison for the rest of my life for killing someone that richly didn't deserve it. Because at the end of the day, if someone ever pisses you off bad enough to kill them, they're usually a dumbass. And why would I throw my life away for a dumbass? Why would I go to jail for the rest of my life for a dumbass? You know what I mean? Hey, can you do me a favor and uh, change the title of the, of the stream? Change it to uh, playing uh, uh, The Joy of Creation Reborn. Playing the scariest games known to man. Shit. But yeah, dude. You guys want a story time? You know what? I should tell you guys a story, bro. A story that I really kind of don't, that I don't want to turn into a story time because it's too nasty. You know what I mean? Like, matter of fact, I might not, I might just not tell y'all niggas a nasty one. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I be running into y'all, man. Y'all be like, bro, tell us the nasty shit. And I be like, but I don't want to, I don't like, don't y'all not want to hear the filthy shit? This game is terrifying, dude. Bruh, seriously, she is whack. And the accusation of unpaid child support payments are faker than the results of the 2020 election. Bro, I feel you, Sean Harner. Thank you for the donation, by the way, bros. I really appreciate you. 34 South Savage. Hey, thanks for the $5 donation, bros. But yo, bro, like, why is it like, 
Bro, I've had exes accuse me of shit. Like, bro, I've had women I've never even had sex with accuse me of bullshit, bro. Like, dude, like, you know what I mean? But that's the beauty of being a female, you know what I mean? You can just lie about everything, and there's, and 95% of niggas is simps, so they'll just believe your bullshit regardless. That's like the beauty of being a female, bro. That's real. I've, bro, I've been accused by such, by such stupid shit. You know what I mean, bro? Like, I, bro, I had, um, I had these, uh, uh, this, uh, you guys ever heard of Bad Girls Club? With well, the Bad Girls Club, they rented out my, they rented out my crib, and they stayed here for a little bit. Love your videos. Keep doing what you're doing. That's what's up, ja Jose, Jazzy Poo. That's what's up, Jose Poo, Josie Poo. Bro, like, I let these one female stay at the crib to shoot, uh, a freaking bad girls reality TV show. And like while they were here, you know, they were like, yo, okay, so whatever you do, don't like, you know, don't go near the girls. Don't try to get with them and shit. And I was like, okay, cool. Especially after I saw the females, like 80% of the bitches was fat and ugly. You know what I mean? And then, but all of the women were like really, really, really fucking, uh, they had really shitty attitudes. They were really masculine women. And that's a turn off for me. You know what I mean? Like what the hell am I gonna do with a bitch that acts like a nigga? Like what a, it's, it's not even a real vagina anymore. Sean Harder. Bruh, I would rather have the Hulk smash my ankles with a metal beam. Bro, that's real shit, bro. And Sean Harder, thank you for the donation, bro. But I feel you, dude. Like bro, dealing with some of these females, dude, it's like once you get to know them, one, like one thing I've learned about women is like dating a mat, like I would never date a masculine female. You know what I mean? And because to me, masculine, like dating a masculine female is like chasing a chick just so she can nag and yell at you while you pay her bills. No, <laughs> no, fuck off of me. <laughs> But yeah, dude, I'm not, you know what I mean? Because a lot of these females, they want you to chase them. And I ain't about to chase no bitch just to pay no bitch's bills. And just so she can talk shit to me while I pay this bitch's bills. You, you, you feel me, Sean Hunter? I've been watching you for years, bro. You funny as fuck. I appreciate you, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that way. But yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to tell you all this story. So yeah, bro, so like the chick. So again, I was like leaving the females alone. Like I wasn't talking to them or flirting with them or none of that shit. And, oh, and, uh, <laughs> fuck out of here. I love how these flies, nigga, they think they on the live stream and shit. But, like, this chick, bro, like, she accused me of, like, stalking the females while they stayed here. Because they rented out, they rented out my crib. They paid me, um, like, they paid me a good amount of money to film their show for, like, like, I think like three days, like five days, we'll say. Fuck is that? No, 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 no. So, while the females was here, you know what I mean? The head female or the, the fat, ugly bitch in charge, you know what I mean? Or the head bitch in charge, she starts accusing me of like trying to stalk the bitches and doing all this other weirdo shit. Oh man, you're after the women. <laughs> You know, so uh, watch Gordon Ramsay's rage videos on your reaction channel, bro. They re-upload channel is called My Dixie Wrecked. I'm gonna check them out. I like Gordon Ramsay and I like watching them rage. So I'm gonna definitely check that out, Sean Garner. Good looking out. And thank you for the donation, bro. I really appreciate you, yo. Bro, and again, like it sucks what you went through with your ex-wife, bro. But just trust and believe every female I've ever been with has like been an idiot or been crazy or in some weirdo way. And the thing that makes them crazy is it's not that the women are crazy, bro. It's that they listen to their stupid friends. No, 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 no. They listen to their freaking friends, bro. Their friends. Why am I not dead? You mother, you waited until I put back on my earphones. Freddie, you ain't shit. You know what I mean? It's that they listen to their shitty friends who don't, who can't even get men, who give them advice about men. 
I can't stand that shit. What is wrong with women? Why do they listen to their friends? Ask me, ask me how to get me to treat you good, bitch. I'll tell you. Well, I suck my dick more, quit yelling at me, and you know, treat me like a man, and I treat you like a female. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you know I mean, but females want to listen to their female friends. Oh no, girl, what you gotta do is you gotta yell and scream and not fu and not have sex with him, and that'll make him act right. And then when the nigga, and then when the dude just is like, you know, well, I'm just gonna go get a different woman. Then that female's like, oh, oh my God, girl, he cheated on you? Wow, just because you stopped having, you didn't have sex with him for six months, and and you were treating him, and you were emasculating him, him in front of his friend. <laughs> Just because you kept emasculating him in front of his friends and in front of people, he gonna go and get a different bitch just because you stopped being with him. Bro, like, nigga. And then these bitches all, like, these bitches, they all get together and they just cluck about how none of them are ever wrong and how they're always right no matter what dumb shit they do. Oh no, girl, it's not cheating, it's an entanglement. But then when the dude goes and does the same thing, what a dog! He's a piece of shit, girl. Can you? I can't believe these men are dogs, and he would do that to you. And you've been a good girl, nigga. So yeah, yeah. You know I mean, like, bro, I. Huh? Are you live on Twitch? I'm only on YouTube. I'm only on YouTube for now. The boss, the baby, Bruh, Say this slowly. Mr. Dixie Rex! Mr. Dixie Rex! I get this slowly! With that shit, bitch. Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> you can't never go catch me, boy. I'm up. I'm fast and shit. I can run fast as shit around the house. Just slapped them. Look, that's the thing, though. That's the thing about females. You can't beat bitches, bro. You can't beat the bitch. You can't, yeah, like yelling at a woman doesn't work. You know, beating the bitch, like hitting a female. I don't have very much experience hitting a woman, but I've seen other, like I've heard other dudes hitting women. What's the, whoa, 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 wait, look, let's talk about this. I'm just gonna yell at me, bros. Be gone, fat. What it is, Kaiju, Kirby. But yeah, bro, you know what I mean? Like, look, you know, you can't hit women, bro. That shit don't work. It literally just makes them more rebellious. And now you got, and now you got a case. And now you got a fucking abuse case on you, you know what I'm saying? You'll be in jail. Like, that's, that's no good. And yelling at women, all that does is make them disrespect you more to see how far they can push your buttons. Because like, a, I feel like a big part of females is trying to push their dude's buttons to like, to get them to overreact and freak the hell out. You know what I mean? Oh no. That's why as a man, bro, like, that's why as a man, it's, I feel like it's really dumb to be faithful to women. You know what I mean? And the reason why I feel like it's dumb to be faithful to women is because females are, like, females always act better when you have other side women. That's real shit. Where are you from? I'm from, I, I, I was born in Compton, LA, but I was raised in Cleveland, Ohio. The man. Watch out, Blast. I see a cockroach at your window. It's got a knife. It says it's back for revenge. That's not okay. That's not funny. I really almost looked when you said cockroach because I have PTSD on cockroaches. As a woman, women are scary. Mushi, I love women, bro. I do. Like, women literally are the, the, the carriers of vagina, so I can't dislike women. But, you know, their tactics and all of their, their, their shitty attitudes and then how they'll tell you one thing and then go and do the exact opposite and then get mad at you for not knowing the opposite is what they really wanted when they told you the one thing. When they tell you, women will tell you, I want, I, bro, okay, look, peep game. I had a girl once tell me she wanted me to give her flowers because I, it was my girlfriend. I was dating this girl named Risa. She was like, oh my God, like I want you to bring me flowers. Like you never ever give me flowers. Like you don't love me enough or whatever. So I was like, you know what? I don't want my girl to not think I love her. So I'm gonna get her some flowers. Got her flowers, bro. I got her the flowers. I remember giving it, this, this is how traumatic, this is how tra traumatizing this shit was to me. I, I remember where it happened. Oh no. I remember where this happened at, bro. I was at the Boulevard Mall. No, not the Boulevard Mall. It was the Meadows Mall. 
I was at the Meadows Mall. I bought her, I bought her a bouquet of flowers to show her that I really loved her because she kept, you know, nagging at me to show her that I really loved her and get her gifts. And she said she wanted flowers. So I got her flowers and I remember giving them to her in the Meadows Mall. I gave her the bouquet of flowers in the Meadows Mall to let her know that I really cared about her because that's what she said she wanted. I got her the flowers. Oh no. I got her the flowers. And when I tell you she took the bouquet of flowers, like, I'm not gonna say she spit at me, but she might have. Took the bouquet of flowers, crumpled them up, and threw them at me. I don't want this fucking shit. Get this fucking shit the fuck away from me. I don't want this shit. So, you know, like, okay, so when she did that in front of everybody at the mall, like, I figured, okay, well, she doesn't want flowers. Don't ever get her flowers again because her response was so freaking disrespectful and grimy that, like, obviously I was wrong in thinking that she wanted flowers when she told me she wanted flowers, right? Bro, I've been watching you. I've been watching this at 11.30 p.m. My anxiety is kicking in, but I love the content. Greetings from Germany. I appreciate you, FUBU. I used to wear your clothing back in the day, baby. Bruh, but like, so yeah, so after that, so get this. Six months later, after she completely emasculates, embarrasses, and yells and screams at me in front of everyone inside the mall to never get her, to not get her flowers, never get her flowers again. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm being weird and all this other shit. So I don't get her, so I, like, so six months later, I, I don't get her any more flowers, I don't get her any more gifts, I don't get her any more stuff. Six months later, she comes at me and, she's, and she starts crying. You never give me anything. You don't really love me. You, why won't you ever get me flowers? You said you can't. And I'm just sitting there looking at this fucking stupid ass bitch. I'm just like, I'm like, how? How? Has any of you guys ever had that happen with females, bro? How the fuck? Bro, and dude, I don't, I'm not gonna say that all women are like this, but I've experienced this from pretty much damn near every woman I've ever dated, bro. Every woman. Every woman. And you know something else I've also noticed from every woman I've ever dated? Whenever I had a side feed, whenever I was cheating on him or boning different women, that woman would treat me better. That's what happened with that same girl that threw the bouquet of flowers at me and screamed at me that what the fuck is wrong with me? Don't get the what the fuck is wrong with you? Don't give me no fucking flowers, it's just fucking gay. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're a simp, you're a loser, you're a piece of shit, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So I'm like, what? okay, we'll never get you stuff. Okay, so then, so then that same female at one point she starts, uh, I remember at one point she came to me and she's like, yo, uh, my prom is coming up. My prom is about to come up because she was still, she was just ending high school. You know what I mean? I was 19 and she was like 18 or some shit. So she was just getting out of high school. And I was like, she was like, yo, my prom is coming up. My prom is coming up. You know, I really, you know, and my prom is coming up. It's like my, it's like my favorite dance of the year. Oh, 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 oh. Never look back. Never look back. So, you know what I mean? She was like, my prom is coming up. And I really, you know, I, it's really important to me that I go with somebody who's really important to me. Like, I, and my prom is coming up. I really, whoa. It's like, I really, you know, I, my prom is coming up. So I was like, oh, okay. You know, all right, so I'm gonna go with you to your prom. You know, okay, well, let's go to your prom. And she was like, okay, look, Maurice, look, look, look. Is it okay? You know, Maurice, hey, is it okay if I, if I go with my guy friend instead of you who's my boyfriend, Maurice? Is it okay if I go with my guy friend instead of you, Maurice? Can I go with my guy friend? And I was like, bro, what do you mean can you go with your guy friend? I'm your boyfriend. That's sus. That's, that's funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you want to go with the guy who's just your friend to your prom when I'm your boyfriend? Like, and even worse, why would you tell me your prom is coming up and then ask me to go if you can go with a different dude, bro? Yeah, YouTube is fucking up. Oh my God! My ass! My ass! 
Hey, hey, rape, rape. <laughs> but yo, the stream, the stream is uh really bad, bro. Yeah, she was definitely cheating. You know, she was obviously cheating with that dude. But the thing is, it's weird, dude, because there's so many beta male simp ass niggas out here that will say, no, she wasn't cheating. She was just wanted to go with her friend. Like, there's so many simps that whenever I talk about this type of stuff, the simps all start coming out and screaming about how no, about how no, the woman is right. And no, women don't cheat. And no, women are all princesses. And they don't do shit like that. Women don't get. So I pretty much just kind of stopped talking about my stories that pretty much prove the shittiness of female nature. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? And it's a, and again, it's something that it's a it's something that I've already like it's something that I made peace with a long time ago. You know what I mean? To the point where my whole dating strategy now is just pretty much just fuck hoes. That is literally a, oh, oh. like literally my whole my whole dating premise is just fucking hoes. That's it. It's just to fuck hoes. I don't develop any female, I don't develop any feelings for females anymore, bro. I develop no feelings, I develop no love, I develop no trust, I, de I don't develop any of it. I don't. Because to me, it's no point. You know what I mean? I'm just out here nutting. That's literally it. And I'm completely fine with that because women are really nasty and they really love to nut as much as we do. So. You know what I mean? It's really easy for me to find females that let me nut inside the back of them than it is for me to find a girlfriend, bro. You know what I mean? And that's why you guys have not seen me with another girlfriend, bro. You guys will see me with some female. You know what I mean? Y'all will see me with females and shit. Y'all see me with some attractive ass bust downs. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see me with some females that's spreading that open for you, boy. You know what I'm saying? But y'all ain't gonna see me. Like, y'all might see, if y'all see me, if y'all see me get a girlfriend, then trust and believe that female is just like one out of a, a thousand. And with that being said, I'm not saying I would not ever get a, a girlfriend. I will get a girlfriend, but I'm very picky. I'm not getting no, I'm not get. I'm not making no girlfriend. I'm not making no girl my girlfriend if she's got a bunch of side niggas, if she's got a bunch of play brothers, if she's got a bunch of niggas that she ain't really family with, that she swears are her brothers and her play brothers. I'm not doing none of that. But since that's like 99.9% uh, like .9 of women, like that's why y'all don't see me with no girlfriend, bro. All I do is just go out to the club, bro. I'ma keep it real, I'ma tell y'all my whole, yeah, if, if you guys are wondering like how I pull bitches, I'ma give you guys my whole freaking, this is the whole thing, bro. Take a shower, do 100 push-ups, and then put on some nice clothes, get my hair cut, and then go to the club and just dance by myself. Go to the club by myself. Women literally start, you know what I mean? Like, I'll go out, if I go out to the club, if I'm at the club for three hours, I probably have around 10 to 15 females run up on me. You know, 10 to 15 females. And it's my job to pick between those 10 to 15, you know, which one is the most submissive, which one is, you know, the least bullshitty, which one is, is playing the least games, which one, pretty much, which one's really trying to get this dick. Because even that, even, even half the females that run up on me, they're usually playing games. You know what I mean? Like I had that happen to me like two weeks ago when I was at the club before I just came back from, matter of fact, I had that shit happen to me just at Dream, like the day before yesterday at DreamCon. You know what I mean? I had like four females checking for me like real hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was just like, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, huh? Yeah, this shit lagging like a month. Oh, okay, we good now. I think it's help. I think it's helping because it went green. Okay, that sucks. Oh no 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 no. But yeah, y'all. Yeah, you know I mean, it's like. Oh my god. So man. So yeah, yeah. You know I mean, like that's my whole dating strategy, bro. Is just to fuck these hoes to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I li like my whole dating strategy is literally just slinging dick. Like that is literally it. You know, and luckily enough for me, I'm such, I'm like really lucky as to where females are totally down to just, oh no. You know what I mean? Like, oh no, no, no. But, uh, but yeah, dude, like, bro, I should tell y'all what happened to me just this weekend, bro. I had just one female gas, bro. 
like she can't lit the fuck out of me, bro. You know what I mean? But I understand like like that's just female nature. You know what I mean? And it really does not bother me. When I smash her, when I have sex with a female, bro, I don't develop any female, I don't develop any feelings. I don't, you know, I don't go out of my way to start texting a female. And what's wild is females will get mad at me for this shit. You know what I mean? They'll, you know what I mean? They'll fuck me. And then they'll get mad at me when I don't start blowing their phone up. Oh, you don't care about me, but I know that's a gaslight. I know that's a trick. Because if I do start blowing her phone up, then, oh, then he's thirsty. Like, it's really like that. You know what I mean? After, after smashing a new female, if you, hit the, if you text the female more than once, you're thirsty. If you text her more than once, she's going to deem you as thirsty, and you're a weirdo, and all of this other bullshit. But if you don't DM, if you don't say shit to her, then you're a piece of shit and a player, blah, blah, blah. But the funny thing that I found out through all my life experience is females will, females will always fuck the jackass, the asshole who drops them for not, oh God. Females will always fuck the asshole who, who didn't care about them again. But they won't fuck the guy who over texted them. They will never, they'll not fuck that guy anymore, bro. You know what I mean? So when you meet girls, they'll ask, and women will ask you to do this shit. They'll ask you to double text them. They'll ask you to triple text them. They'll ask you to wear your heart on the sleeve. Tell me you care about me. Tell me you love me. Tell me you like me. What? You make me feel like shit whenever I'm with you because you don't give me any attention. You give the bitch attention and she ghosts you for a year and a half. Like, I've literally had all of that shit happen, bro. So, you know what I mean? Like, so me, like, you know what I mean? When people, that's why it's so funny whenever females try to slut shame me. Oh my God, you're such a slut. Like, you don't love women enough. You're not, why don't you chase women? Oh my God, you're, you know what I mean? Because that's the shit that, I mean, and it, the reason why I find that funny is because that's the shit that works on women. I'm not going out of my way to make women feel better about themselves Oh, like, you know what I mean? Cause like a female, I'm pretty sure, I know it feels good to a woman when she finds a dude and he quadruple texts her and cries over the phone because she won't hang out with him and how he misses her and is all that bullshit, but that shit don't get no results. That shit don't get, that shit don't get sex. That shit don't get, the women will despise you. Women will not fall in love with you if you do that shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I don't, bro, I don't even want, bro, my dating, my dating strategy is so fucked up. I don't even want women to be faithful to me, bro. I don't, I really do not look for it. I really don't care, bro. Like I was dating this one Instagram model. I'm pretty sure she had at least like 10 other niggas. You know what I mean? But I was mad cool with that because them was the niggas who was paying her bills. She would just, I was just a sex dude. She would come over and just fuck me for like, you know what I mean? Like four, six hours or some shit. And then she would go hang out with the niggas and have them give her money. And I'm cool with that. I don't even, I'm cool with her even fucking them. Like, bro, and that was like the second, that was the baddest chick that I've ever dated for a long time, bro. Like she was a liter she was literally a nine. And like, and even then I'm just, you guys, if you guys saw her, y'all would be like, bro, that's an 11 and a half. But to me, she was a nine. The, th the only thing that would have made her a 10 was if she had hazel eyes. Real talk. You know what I mean? Like, bro, she had a banging body, fat ass, big ass fucking titties, nice ass fucking titties was like nice and slim and curvy and shit. Her face was pretty as fuck. Her hair was real. You know what I mean? Like she had everything a guy would want in a female. You know what I'm saying? But I just knew after meeting her, like she was not a faithful type of chick. And that's not something that I would, that's not a responsibility that I would ever really put on a female. I don't want females to be faithful to me. I like being the booty call. You know what I'm saying? I like being the, come over, oh no, 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 no. I like being the, come over my house, you know, fuck me until there's nothing left, until she ain't got nothing left, and then go home and go to her boyfriend's house and go to sleep. You know what I mean? Bro. But I, bro, but like, you know what I mean? But I, again, I do know a lot of dudes who like have a lot of issues with this shit. A lot of dudes can't even stomach thinking a female that they're fucking on is like smashing a different dude. That should be wild as shit to me. This is bad. I can't see you guys' chat anymore. Oh yeah, I can. Damn, if it's 10 guys, you can't eat the box. I mean, no! Bro, honestly, to keep it real with you, bro, like, 
if that's the case, if you're scared of, like, with me, whenever I kick it with a female, I just make sure that she takes it, you know what I mean? Like, before I do anything with any female, bro, she got to take a shower. Real talk. You know what I mean? Like, she got to take a shower, she got to scrub the pussy out, all of that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But if that's the case, you're better off never eating pussy again, bro. Because I can guarantee you, 90% of females are boning at least three guys. Boning at least two to three dudes, bro. Real shit. And what's really funny is, wives and girlfriends have higher body count numbers of side niggas than dudes, than females who are single. Real shit. I would, when I was at this DreamCon shit, bro, just to show, just to give you all a clue of how unfaithful a lot of these females is, bro, I was at DreamCon just a couple days ago, and like three content, eh, let's see. Okay, to be 100% honest, at least two of my confirmed content creator friends, their wives, and these were, these were their wives. I'm not gonna say their names because, you know, like if they're not up on female nature, then I'm not gonna put them up on it by telling them this shit. But two of my best friends who are content creators, really big content creators, their wives pulled me aside like, yo, I'm trying to fuck. What's up? With their husband. With their husband was talking to fans, right? Viewers that mobbed their husband, they pulled me aside like, yo, like, hey, oh my God, like, you're, you're hot, I'm trying to fuck. Like, yo, oh my God, so how long have you known my husband? Blah, 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 like, bro, like, nigga. <laughs> bro, I'm telling y'all, bro, nigga, cap. I guess, I guess I'm just capping. I'm still not gonna say their names though, cause like, I'm still good friends with them and I plan on going out and doing content with them and shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? And, and the worst thing you could ever do, and let me give you guys this advice. The worst thing you could ever do is go to a man and tell him his wife is cheating on him because he's gonna take all that anger and frustration and point it at you. Just like what Chavez did when I warned him that skitting was fucking everything. I tried warning Chavez, that nigga blew up at me. No she's not, you motherfucker, you gave it. My bad, my bad, bro. Hey, you right, my bad, my bad. You know what I mean? Bro, like telling a dude that his female is cheating on him is like forcefully trying to break somebody out of the matrix 25 years after their brain has already become accustomed to what the matrix is. It's like trying to forcefully eject someone out the matrix, you know what I mean? Like, real talk. This game ain't shit, bro. <laughs> bro. But yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, you know, I ain't mad at it, GG, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, because a lot of dudes, think of it, I can't really blame dude because he was so hard up. He was so hard up for vagina. Like, that man had not gotten any consensual sex from the <laughs> Like, that man had not gotten any consensual sex from a female probably in the last 15 years. So when, you know, when that chick, when, um, uh, when Jackie, like, boned him on purpose, <laughs> even though uh, that situation was really bad, and I'm not going to say that what that situation was, but even though that situation was all the way fucked, you know what I mean? To him, he thought it could be another 15 years before, before he got some more vagina. You know, so I can't even fault him for that. You know what I mean? Because to him, he was like, dude, I don't know when's the next time I'm gonna run into a female who has sex with me on purpose. Oh my God! Oh my God! So, you know, like I can't even fault him for, you know what I mean? Like, I can't fault him for that. Cause dudes who are hard up for vagina, bro, they, if they get any of it, they ain't giving that shit up. Why do you think there's so many dudes who are willing to bone their homies' wives and girlfriends and shit, bro? You know what I mean? Cause like dudes will basically get around their homies and lie about how much vagina they get, about how much sex they get, or about how much women they get. You know what I mean? Like they just, they just lie, you know what I mean? But that's cool, you know what I mean? Like it's just what it is. So I could never really, I could never like fault a dude for dropping his homeboys because he finds a girl that he likes, you know? My thing is, bro, if you're gonna leave the homies for a female, at least leave them. At least leave the homies 
for a female who's faithful, bro. That's my thing. Like, I understand leaving the homies for some pussy, my nigga, but leave them for a bitch that's good to you, bro. Don't leave them for a bitch who's been fucking everybody <laughs> who treats you like shit. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I was like, nigga, really? This is the bitch you're going to give your life to? <laughs> nigga. Bro. Add insult to injury, bro. That chick was boning Randy and everything, dude. Like, Skidden had been boning Randy all, literally. You know what I mean? This nigga Chavez literally walked in on the shit. This nigga comes to the door, you know what I mean? And Randy opens the shit. Skidden's in there and shit, man. They just got done getting it popping and shit. You know what I mean? Randy just got done busting his nuts on her and shit. And this nigga Chavez marries her as soon as possible after that. I'm like, nigga. She's literally, like, she's community vagina, bro. Like, you don't marry community vagina. <laughs> Never. And again, bro, I don't even hate, I can't even hate, you know, on skating for doing that shit, yo. Because, like, you know, if you're a female and you're watching this, you cheat on Chavez, too. Wouldn't you? You did not know that. Yeah, no one did. <laughs> again, I mean... Bro, she tried to bone me, got mad at me because I wouldn't bone, you know? So she was boning Randy, you know? And Randy was telling me about all their sex cafes and whatnot. And I was like, oh, that's what's up. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, that nigga Chavez showed up to the door <laughs> after, after she had just got done swallowing Randy, my nigga. <laughs> just like, and what's funny is she probably kissed that nigga. <laughs> But, uh, yes, that was a W for Randy. You know what I'm saying? That's a W for Randy. You know? And even so, it's, it's really weird, dude, because even after Randy tries to, tries to accuse me of boning kids, I really ain't really that mad at him. I'm not mad at him. I just keep my distance from him. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go anywhere near him. You know what I mean? Like, like, the homie can't talk to me. Like, he's not allowed to even talk to me. If he sees me in person, I'll ignore him like he was a loser. Like, he is the loser that he is. You know what I mean? Because, like, you know, homie knew me for, homie has known me for over 10 years, bro. You know my character, bro. Just because you're broke and poor and unambitiousless, you know what I mean? And you're homeless because you won't work and get a job like a real fucking man. Because you won't make enough money to take care of your family like a real man does. You're going to accuse the nigga that was taking care of you for seven years of child pedophilia just because you don't want to work and be ambitious and get the things you want in life. So, you know what I mean? But then again, that's all part of being a YouTuber, dude. Like, someone's going to accuse you of pedophilia. Someone's going to accuse you of, of rape. You know what I mean? Which Brandy tried to do, but nigga. That was funny. Like, in the same video, she had tried to accuse me of, of sexually harassing her. She then, in the same video, she's like, I don't get it. He gets all of these really attractive women. Why can't I, where, why, like, I don't understand. Like, where do he get all these beautiful women from? They're all bad bitches. I don't understand. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Bruh. Bro. And what's really funny, what's really funny about the whole Brandy thing is, bro, like, I would have let her suck my dick, but her attitude is really bad. I would have let her suck my penis, but her attitude is so masculine and shitty, then I, why would I, like, I'm not, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? So instead of fixing her personality and acting like a feminine woman, you know, like, bro, look, this a cheat code to life, bro, if you, bro, like, females that act like men, that act masculine, oh my God, they're dumbasses. Because masculine females, bro, you're literally overriding your power of the pussy, bro. Like, if you're mean and you're yelling and you're screaming, you're not going to be able to get the top 1% of dudes. Because the top 1% of dudes, we had to build ourselves up to get there. And any dude who has to build himself to become a top 1% dude, you know what I mean? Like, bro, why the fuck would I, I know my value. Why the fuck would I settle for a bitch who's ugly and mean? <laughs> like, nigga. <laughs>
bruh. Reese, have you guys ever thought about discussing it properly? I know that the KSI and Desi were fighting for a year. Y'all just fighting, like it's an everyday thing. No, I'm not fighting with him. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I'm very dismissive as of the people who don't treat me good. You know what I mean? I'm just very dismissive. And what's really weird is the people who treat me bad, they get mad at me for not caring about them more. But it's like, bro, you, like, the fuck is that? I don't understand is that you lost all of your friends and then make them look bad with stories. Well, what I don't understand is they do all of the things that make themselves look bad. You know what I mean? Like, so tell me this, Javon Harper. Uh, okay, so Javon Harper, let's define friend. Is a friend someone who accuses you of having sex with children when they know that you don't on video? in front of tens of thousands of people? Is that what a friend does, Javon Harper? Or do you have such low self-esteem that you would accept that from someone just, because, just so you could have a friend? See, the difference between me and you, Javon Harper, is I don't need friends. I can go make friends everywhere. I, I have tons of friends. I have celebrity friends. I have, I have friends, you know, and Curiously enough, none of them would ever accuse me of something like that. They wouldn't even accuse me of stuff I don't do, let alone child pedophilia. So my question to you, Javon Harper, is that is that what a true friend does? They accuse you of pedophilia when they know you don't do that type of thing? So what they accuse would they accuse you of rape? Because that's what these friends did too. That's what a real friend does. You're right. Mm -hmm. Javon, I would like to hear this. Why would I accept that? Because you just said, Javon, no, don't switch up now, Javon Harper. You just said that uh, I had all of these friends that, what did you say? And then you said I did something, like I'm making them look bad with stories or something. My thing is, if someone were my true friend, I would never tell these, I would have never told, I would have never told anybody that Randy was fucking skitting. I would have never told that had he not accused me of pedophilia. Think about it this way. Did I ever tell that story before he came out and accused me of boning kids? Hmm? 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 So, oh, this isn't gonna be good. You don't see me. You don't see me. He sees me. You don't see me. No, Javon Harper, come on, let's, you know what I mean? I wanna, I wanna hear this. No, I've been friends with people and never got accused of nothing like that. And those people are your friends. So tell me this, Javon, if those people accused you of pedophilia, if they went in front of hundreds of thousands of people and said, yeah, BHD and told stories about how BHD was totally boning kids and flirting with 13 and 14 year olds, would, though, would you consider those people to be your friends anymore, Javon? Or would you be the type of dumbass who would be like, oh no, man, it's cool. It's completely cool. It's fine. We'll still be friends. You sound like someone who's hard up for friends. You sound like someone who's thirsty for friendship. Yeah, I mean, so, so yeah, Javon, I, I want to hear the rest. <laughs> <laughs> you make all of your friends hate you, and then you tell stories about them to make them look bad. If these people had never said grimy, untrue things about me, I would have never said anything about that to them. Ever, I would have never told any of these stories. There's still shit that I that you guys don't know that I won't that I'm not telling y'all. There's still like some wild shit that I haven't told y'all. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I'm not doing that because I consider them my friends. I'm doing, I'm not saying that stuff because, you know, there's, there's really no point. But there's some stuff I will tell y'all. Like the stuff I'm telling y'all right now. No, oh, Javon, come on, bro, come back. Javon, come on. Yeah, you did just take an L. Javon. You did take an L. No, but I want to, 
I want to I wanna hear, I wanna hear your opinion, Javon. You, you know what I mean? So your friend could come, your friend could go to your best friends and tell people that you're a pedophile and then tell a story like that shit, I guess, like really a thing. And then you're going to be like, oh, it's cool. Javon, that makes you a bitch. If you let people tell, if you let people lie on your name to the effect, like if somebody would be like, oh man, Blasphemous HD wasn't nice to me. That's cool. I understand that. You know what I mean? If somebody were to say, oh, but if they were to be like, uh, Brady would have come on here and be like, oh, Blasphemous HD put me out of his house and, and, and I didn't have a place to go, you know, and you know, that's not fair to me. I would understand that. I would never say anything back on that. But when Randy gets online and says Blasmus HD was having sex with kids, and I know he's doing it, I have no proof, but that's what he's doing. And you need to stop it, PhD, because we all know you're doing it. And then you go on and read the comment section and everyone believes it, Nick? People are literally agreeing with this shit. Oh yeah, man, I knew Blasmus HD was doing it. Oh my God, I knew it. I never, oh my God. You know I mean, and then add insult to injury, Javon, you've done over 5,000 videos on the, inter on, on the internet. For free, pretty much. Because you don't get paid when you start YouTube, you don't. Who out there got paid off their first video? Who out there got paid on their 50th video? I've done 5,000 videos and I've busted my ass for years creating content when I could have been out working on a career, going to college, chasing pussy, you know, all the stuff that I really enjoy to do, you know what I mean? Playing video games without a camera on, you know what I mean? But instead, I spent all those years and hours making content online to entertain people because that's what I want to do and that's what I'm going to keep doing and that's what I love to do. And then someone that you took care of for seven years gets online and says you're a pedophile and then hundreds of thousands of people believe it and you gonna call that nigga your friend. You are a bitch. <laughs> you are literally a bitch. And there's, no, there's nothing you can say to ever shake that, Javon. Yeah, Javon, it's, it's good that you laugh. You are a bitch. That's what bitches do when they get busted. You know what I mean? But, you know. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so, bro, it, I always found it really funny when I saw the comments of people that were like, dude, like, you know, those are your real friends, man. You gotta, you, you, I can't believe you would just cut your real friends off like a nigga. Oh, shit. Don't look at me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Yeah, Javon, hold this L. Listen to the chat, Javon. Hold this L. Listen to the chat, Javon. It's not me handing you the L. It's all of my viewers. You, you are the bitch of the stream, Javon, and you are holding this L because you are bitch made enough to be friends with people who would do terrible shit like that to you, bro. You know what I mean? Cause like pedophilia and like, what do you call it? Like stealing sex from females, you know what I mean? Like, or like what do they call that shit? Like rape and all that shit? Oh, shit. That, those are those are two of the very few things. Those are two things that if you get accused of those, like people will believe you for the most part, regardless of having any evidence, which is why that's what they decided to say. You know what I mean? That's, what that, that's why they said that shit, is because it's something that, you know, it's like people don't really need proof to believe it, which is grossly apparent by the amount of dumbasses in the comments section that believe that a nigga with 5,000 views, the 5,000 videos online and literally well over 5 billion views will be doing this shit and no one's come forward. No one's come forward. <laughs> Javon, come back. Javon, come back. It's always good to have a stream bitch. Javon, you are officially the stream bitch. You know, I... What? It's in a good way, Javon. It's not mean, Javon Harper. You know, like, you were just the type of nigga to, to, to kick it with a female and eat her ass for five years, never get anything in return, you know, because you're waiting for her to, <laughs> to be ready to be with you. Because, you know, she needs time. Yeah. I'm trying to be funny. 
Uh, unfortunately for you, sir, I do not need to try at this point. I am far past that point of needing to try to be funny or even trying. It's in my personality. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you know you. I appreciate you though, Javon Harper. I really do, cause like, I've had a lot of comments of people before being like, bro, you you need to get back with your real friends, man. They were your real friends, and like, it's I'm appreciative to be able to like talk to one of you weirdos, you know, to talk to one of you dumbasses, you know, through the chat so that you could see how much of a dumbass you truly are. Because if, if you were right and I was wrong, my chat would not let me live down no bullshit. They would, they would tell you that I was wrong. But everyone's like, bro, like, would anyone else in the chat be best friends, call someone their best friend if they're accusing them of pedophilia? Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, Blast, you're my childhood. I watched you for years, bro. Love great team to play this game. Bro, this game is terrible. I'm, man, I'm going to try this like one or two more times. I'm going to switch the game, bro. Because this game is mortifying. But yeah, yo, you know what I mean? Like, always, you know. And I say this, like, any anybody you guys become friends with, you know what I mean? Like, it's good to trust people and, you know what I mean? Like, trust them with your friendship and whatnot. But if someone ever lies on you about something like that, if they lie on you and try to say that you hit women and you don't, they lie on you and try to say that you're doing any type of really grimy, jacked up, illegal stuff, you know what I mean? Like, they're not your friend, dude. That person's not your friend. And if you still try to, tr if you still treat that person as if they are still your friend, then you are literally, uh, you are literally lost in the sauce and are a dumbass. You're literally a dumbass, and I cannot save you, bro. Like Javon Harper, I cannot save you, bro. You are far gone. You are the pinnacle of stupidity, bro. I don't know anybody dumber than that. When any, when any of you guys in the chat have someone like, like that's like someone, that's like me getting my house robbed at gunpoint by Rashad, by Rashad Banks, and still considering this nigga my friend. Still, oh my God, I miss my best friend, Rashad Banks. He robbed my house at gunpoint and nearly got my brother KT fucking murdered. But he's my best friend. I can't believe, I, I need to treat him better. Nigga. <laughs> I didn't know it was possible to be this stupid, Javon. I really didn't. I really didn't. I am surprised. <laughs> I am legitimately surprised. I did not think it was possible to be that dumb. To be that dense. To be that stupid. <laughs> yes, he robbed my house at gunpoint and he got my brother nearly murdered. He got my brother murdered, but why we come back, Rashad? We can be for we can work this out. We can talk this out. We need to be friends again. Yeah, bro, you are literally a bussy. Javon Harper, you are literally a bussy. A boy pussy, my nigga. You are literally a bussy, my nigga. You know what I mean? Get out, get your social skills up, talk to some people, get some friends, my nigga. <laughs> Cause I'll tell you one thing, man. Friends don't uh, try to, friends won't say shit like that about you, bro. Cause I'll tell you one thing, I considered them actual, I considered them actual friends when they weren't doing that type of shit. You wanna know why? Because, you know how? Because when, after we all cut everything off, after I decided that the situation was getting too toxic and that these people were like adding, they weren't adding any value to my life. They were just taking it out of my life and I cut them off. I didn't go out telling people that Randy was boning skitting. I didn't do any of that. I didn't go out telling on Chavez. And I'm not gonna tell you what I would have told on Chavez because you know, he didn't, even though that, even though he had been telling people in his Discord that I was like talking to kids, he never made a video about it, so I let it slide. So I'm not gonna out him for the disgusting shit that he does. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Is Javon still here? Javon, come back. We need a prison bottom. His name is, no, don't ban him. His name is prison, he's prison bottom. <laughs> I understand, though. I feel you. <laughs> Not but for real, though. He, he is... Javon Harper will be forever known as the infinite prison bottom. To be pa only to be passed around to the, 
to the hee-hos and the and the she the she haws and the hula hoops. I mean, never to be respected because he is not smart enough to get that stuff. <laughs> More story times. Bro. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys. Okay, so what type of stories you guys want, bro? What story time you guys want? Because I'm in running around, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm a, Mr. Gaming? Yeah, I should. I'm not gonna lie. I've been comfortable with, with, with being killed on here at least. At least I'm comfortable with these jump scares, man. Oh my. This? Uh, somewhat. I'm gonna try to beat it next time. I'm, 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 I'm gonna take this jump scare and then just. Only a real friend would never accuse you of such disgusting shit. And my thing is, I only understand, I would only understand accusing someone of that if they have any evidence to back that up. You know what I mean? Like, if people had seen me doing any weird or disgusting such shit with kids and shit, then that's understandable. Yes, snitch on me, please. But when you just make some shit up and then you don't, you refuse to elaborate because you know you can't, because, you know, it's a lie. Like, nigga. Like, yeah, now you're a piece of shit, you know? Like, you never saw me go on video and be like, well, you know, Randy was totally having sex with squirrels this entire time, and I saw him doing it, and I don't have any proof, but I know he did it. What's a pee-pee? What's up, Jupiter? Are you being nasty? Is that why you say pee-pee? 13 seconds left. That's his fucking I need one more thing. One more thing. I only need one more thing, Freddy. Do not hate on me! Come on! Shit! So glad, love the channel. Let me pull out the bad bitches. Nah, bro, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't really, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I don't really show any bad bitches on my streams or any of that anymore. Because all y'all niggas do is just slide their DMs. You know what I mean? Pump these hoes heads up. You know what I'm saying? Make it harder for me to fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I mean? That's why I don't, I don't. I had, I had somebody hit me up. I had somebody hit me up like four days ago on Instagram. These jackass niggas gonna have the nerve to be like, oh my God, like, um, yo man, like, hey, where's that one girl? You, Where's this girl? Shows me a picture of the girl when I was hanging out with her. Hey man, where's this girl? I wanna, you know, is she your homie or blah, blah, blah. Can I holler at her? Like, what's her Instagram? I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here, man. You know what I mean? Go get your own vagina, nigga. I'm tired of niggas trying to eat off my bag. You know what I mean? I go out, you know what I mean? Put in the hard work to get the bitch. Be like, oh yeah, give, him, give, give, us, give us her socials so I can hit her up and, and big up these, these bitches' brains and shit. Make these bitches think that they're people. Make these bitches think that they're important and shit. Oh, okay, one. Okay. Now with the black. Don't worry, I'm 16. I'm not 16 year old baby. Hey, that's what's up, nigga. But I still don't believe you, nigga. You know what I mean? This nigga said, don't worry. I'm only after 16 year old bitches. Bitches, nigga, please. Oh my God! Hey, look, hey guys. Here's a fun fact. Any guy that ever tells you that he is not after your bitch, he's after your bitch. <laughs> Real talk, my nigga. Never believe any dude. Never believe any dude that tells you, oh, no, nah, man, I'm not gonna holler at her. I just wanna be your friend that, yeah, get, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Nigga, please. <laughs> niggas will tell you, niggas will say anything to get you to lull you into a false sense of security so that they can slide in your bitch's DMs and tell them that they'll treat you, that they'll treat her better than the other nigga, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Oh, God. Five seconds, one more thing. One more thing. Please! Tartar sauce. Haunted house or work story? Let's see, work story. Oh, bro, I'm gonna give you guys a, um, I'm gonna give you guys a story time that just happened to me this weekend at uh, DreamCon. Okay, so I was at DreamCon, and while I was at DreamCon, I ran into these few, and bro, I'm a, this story is about how females will gaslight you, like how females pretty, pretty much try to use you and gaslight you and all this other crazy shit. But I'll just tell you guys the story without giving you guys the synopsis first. So, I was at DreamCon, I ran into this female, and when I ran into her, you know, female was giving me every, was giving me every, uh, every sign in the book that she was trying to get, you know what I mean? That she was, uh, that she was trying to, you know, 
get her shit beat out and whatnot that she was trying to smash and shit, right? So I get the female back to my crib. I get her back to my crib. And like, when I get her back to my crib, I'm making moves on her, you know what I mean? And you know, most of the moves, you know what I mean? Most of the moves were successful. But then, you know, I tried like the last move on her and shit. And she pretty much told me, she was like, yo, you ain't never gonna, like, you'll never get this pussy. Which, any female that tells you that, they're pretty, they're probably down to smash. They're, you know what I mean? But me, you know, I just kinda, I was like, uh, you know, like, but the thing is, when a female tells you that she doesn't like you or she'll never touch you or no shit like that, she's usually lying. All you gotta do is just not let that affect you and just keep flirting with her and shit. You know, or pretty much just like, what I like to do is I'll stop flirting with her, go do something else for like 10 minutes to turn on a video game or some shit, and then flirt with her some more. You know what I mean? After the, you know, after that time is up and shit. Oh no. You know, wait two minutes, then flirt with her some more, you know, make some more moves on her and shit. But honestly, the fact that this female was like, this female wasn't really that attractive to me. You know what I mean? I just wanted to fuck her for practice to keep it real because like I don't really fuck with it I don't smash for emotion I don't give a shit I'm not trying to like connect with a female when I'm fucking I'm just you know what I mean I just like to practice my, my dingling swing you know what I'm saying so when I do run into a girl that I do want to wipe up you know I can make sure to like you know get her ass digmatized real fast and shit so you know what I mean the fact that this chick wasn't really super attractive she did have a nice shape on her but she wasn't really that attractive I just stopped after that I was like yeah I don't this is too much work for this caliber of female. I don't know why she thinks she's worth more. <laughs> Bro, the funny shit. You and your, you and Randy were such friends for eh. You know, you might want to go tell him that, not me. <laughs> why would you, cause like, you know what I mean? You need to tell him like, yo, why would you accuse Blasphemous of something you know he's not doing if you guys were such friends? Like, why would you do that? Ask him, not me, I don't. I never accused him. Even after he made, even after he tried to accuse me of the shit, I would never accuse him back because I, I don't, I don't think he's doing that. I've never seen any proof of him doing that. So, so yeah. So you know, this female, I talked to the female before, and she pretty much told me she's like, yo, pretty much, I'm looking for a guy to take care of me. You know, I'm looking for a guy to take care of me. I'm broke. I need money, but I want to party all the time. You know what I mean? Pretty much she was broke with expensive tastes. So I'm like, oh, okay, so you're broke with expensive tastes and you're looking for a dude who's got money to take care of you and make it so that you have, so that you don't have to worry about, you know, having a place to sleep and sleeping in a shitty HUD house and all this shit. And my thing is, I'm like, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, if a female proves herself to me, like, ah! If a female proves herself to me that she's worthy of me like spinning a bag on her and shit, which pretty much is about being faithful and treating me like a man, then I'm down to do that. You know what I'm saying? But if a female is like, you know what I mean? If she ain't treating me like I'm that nigga, then I'm not gonna treat her like, these, like she's that female. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, so like that night there was some more parties to go to. So I went to this other party, got turned the fuck up, ran into some other women. You know what I mean? Some other women that was trying to kick it with your boy. You know what I mean? So while I'm there, I'm kicking it, I'm chilling, having a good time. And, you know, my, needless to say, after I had put all those moves on her and tried to smash, and she pretty much rejected me and told me no, like, oh no, you'll never get this pussy. I was like, oh, okay, cool. But you know, me and her, we still went to the next party. You know what I mean? Because like, just because a female doesn't, isn't down to mess with me, that just means that, you know, this chick, she's not gonna be able to like, you know, date me. She's not gonna be able to ever get any money from me. She's not gonna be able to, I'll never help her. But I'm not gonna like treat a chick like shit just because she don't wanna smash. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, so I pay, so I got an Uber, you know, and we went to the next party. And while we was at the next party, you know, I'm talking to other girls and you know, she's doing her thing. She's having a good time and shit. So while I'm doing my thing, you know what I mean? So I left her at the party. My thing is this, like my thing is this. I'm not going to throw a female out if she don't want a bone. Yeah, do I believe in mythological creatures? I guess some of them, you know? So like my thing is I'm not like, if a female don't want a bone, I'm not going to throw her out. Yeah, I will. But it's like, I'm not going to like, 
you know, I'm not gonna like go out of my way to be mean to her or tell her, oh no, well, oh, well, you blah blah blah. Now I'm still gonna be nice to her. I'm still gonna be cool with her and shit. You know what I mean? That just means that you know, oh no, that just means that she's not gonna you know be able to like like be able to date me or run game on me and shit. You know what I mean? So so we go to the next party and we're at the party. We're turning up and shit and. At the end of the party, I let the girl know. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to be real polite and let her know, like, yo, since, you know, you kind of don't want to have sex, then I'm not, I don't want to, because she wanted to spend the night at my house or at my Airbnb. And I didn't want her to spend the night because, you know, honestly, to keep it real, I would much rather just, I would much rather spend the night by myself. But, like, I tend to, I like leaving my options open. Like, if a chick ain't trying to mess around, I like leaving my options open by not having that girl spend the night over. That way, when I run into another girl that is trying to get the long john, then, you know what I mean? Like, she can come over and we can do that, you know? And I ain't gotta worry about this chick who's, you know, wants to say no and all that shit. So, what happened was, you know, so I spend that, so I tell that girl, I'm like, yo, you know, it's a good idea that you get your stuff. That way you can, you won't be forced to stay the night at my house. You know what I mean? You won't be forced to stay the night at my house. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta worry about me making no more moves on you. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta worry about me trying to hit. You know what I mean? So, so, uh, <laughs> so I told her, I tell her, I'm like, yo, you know, make sure to get your stuff. That way you're not forced to like stay at my house tonight. You know, cause like, you know, I don't want you, to, cause just in case I lose you or we get lost or something like that. You won't have to like, you know, look for me and all this other wild shit, you know what I mean? Cause I'm not gonna let you find me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm trying to fuck. I ain't trying to, you know, I ain't making my bitch. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't out here trying to, you know what I mean? So, so I ended up chilling that night. And then the next night, that night I actually ran into some other girl. I ran into this other girl who'd been trying to like, who've been trying to get me to slay her for like a year and some change. But like, you know, she was okay. She was okay. She was kind of cute, but I felt like I could do better. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I felt like I could do better, nigga. I was like, ah, I'm gonna I'm a keep looking. She was a last ditch effort is what she was. <laughs> she was the last lifeline. She was, you know what I mean? She was the one, she was the very last minute. She's like, ah, I guess. <sighs> Come on, shit. You know what I mean? So, oh shit, the Punisher. What's your preference on bird females? Uh, what do you mean? Like, you mean like animal birds or do you mean like actual females? Like, you mean bird birds? You know, I have been trying to sleep with a flamingo for months, but you know what I mean? Like every time I try, the bird turns around and starts viciously pecking at me and shit in self-defense. You know what I mean? So now I got the, you know what I mean? They probably file a bird allegation against me. Like, oh, I wasn't looking and he just tried to put his thumb up my feather anus. I was like, man, ain't this a fucking bird whore? The bird wanted it. So, but yeah, so, the, so what ended up happening was, um, so then the next day, man, somehow this chick shows up at my crib, bro. She had one of my other homeboys bring her to my damn crib, bro. And it was wild, dude. And it was the wildest shit about it was this female told me how broke and poor she was and how much she was looking for a real dude to like, you know, really save her and all of this shit. I ain't saving no female I ain't fucking, bro. Please never do that, guys. Never save any female you're not fucking. Never. Do not help any female financially unless you boning. There's, there's, cause, cause what happens is if you give females money without you guys having sex, then she loses respect for you. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't want none of y'all to be, you know, like respect, not like, you know, not respected and shit. So it's best, why are you here? You get out of here! Bro, look, man, birds can get this dick. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. You just gotta 
Hold their wings down, white. <laughs> I bought that bird a drink. Fuck that. Spread it. <laughs> New Cosby. <laughs> oh God, no. Oh, this is good. Hey, look. Blue. Sheesh. So. So anyway. Um. So yeah, you know what I mean? So, bro, so this chick ended up staying over for like the next couple of nights and shit. And I ain't, I never made a move on her anymore. I didn't really try. I ain't do none of that. You know what I mean? Cause I'm like, bitch, like you're literally, this bitch was like a two, like a three. Eh, I say she was like a three. You know what I mean? But no, nah, her personality was really good though. I'll give her that. She was, I'll give her like a seven. Cause her person, no, nah, she was like a six. Cause her personality was really, really fucking good. But if her personality was bad, she would have been a one or a zero. Like, oh my God, bro. Like a lot of women don't understand. That's what a bad attitude does for a female. You lose six numbers. You can either gain or lose six numbers based on how good or shitty your attitude is. At least with me as a female, if you're a female, if your attitude is really shitty, then you lose seven, six to seven numbers. You know what I mean? So if you're a 10, you're a three. Real shit. Your attitude is, like, women don't understand this shit. A lot of women wonder why they can't get a high value man. I am a high value man. I consider myself a high value man. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, high value men, I'm not dealing with your bullshit. I'm not putting up with any of your attitude any of that bullshit, bitch. You know what I mean? Even if you are a 10, that means nothing. Like, I, I, bro, I boned this one female that I swear to God was a certified 10. She had a hazel eyes and everything. And her attitude was shitty. So for the three attitude, for the three days that her attitude was good, we fucked the whole three days. You know what I mean? It was great. She was a squirter. She was all of that. She squirted everywhere. Oh, we're, we're, oh, whoa! Oh! No, not you, man. I'm talking about the bitches. But uh, you know what I mean, it was great. But then on that third, fourth day, when her attitude became shitty, I lost all attraction for her. I lost it. I'm like, this bitch ain't even, she's not attractive no more. She's not hot. You know what I mean? Like, bro, hey, that's real shit. Bro, think of it, think of it this way, right? We all know how Brandy was ugly as all shit, right? This bitch, this bitch, ooh. You know what I mean? I would have, bro, I would have let Brandy suck my penis if she had a nicer attitude. But her thing was she was mean, masculine, and ugly as fuck. And then had the nerve to get mad when the nigga didn't want her. Bitch, are you serious, bitch? Nah, bitch loses six numbers when she got a bad attitude with me. I, I, I don't, bro, a female could be bad as fuck. I really do not care, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Bad bitches, like, I've boned enough bad bitches to know that the pussy is the same as with the regular looking bitches. It's the same shit. It just looks prettier while you're, it just, it's just, it just looks better while you're fucking it. You know what I mean? That's all it is, bro. It's the same vagina, my nigga. Oh, this is not, ah! You know what I mean? I think that's what, the, I think that's what the difference is. You know what I mean? Since I boned a, a, an okay amount of bad bitches, you know what I mean? Like Instagram models and bad bitches and all of this shit. And they just, they fucked me for free. So with that being the case, you know what I mean? If a bitch ain't got a good attitude, nigga, I can just, I'll just go find a bad bitch with a, if I go, what the fuck I look like? Boning an ugly bitch with a shitty attitude. I can just go find a bad bitch with a shitty attitude. It's the same shit. <laughs> That's real shit. <laughs> and what's really funny is, I don't know why these bad bitches be fucking with me. I don't know why. I don't, I don't, I can't tell you. I can actually, I can. So I be telling them to shut, I be telling them to shut the fuck up. I don't put up with no, oh no. I don't put up with none of they bullshit. I don't give a fuck how bad a bitch is. I'm not putting up with your shit, bitch. I've thrown bad bitches out. <laughs> I've thrown bad bitches out. Fuck out my house, bitch. Huh? Okay, 10 seconds. One more piece. Come on. Can't be here. Oh, God. is that it? No, 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 no. Mom! Shit. I guess she thought you could handle her attitude. See, and that's the problem with a lot of people, Rakib. Um, I can handle a shitty bitch's attitude. I've done it before. How do you think I bone the bad bitches, nigga? I handled their shitty attitude, nigga. 
but I'm not about to handle an ugly bitch's shitty attitude, nigga. For what? I'm not about to work for no ugly bitch's vagina. What the fuck? It's there's people out here working. People out here putting up with. And you know what? I just realized it. Get that. And that's what makes a simp a simp. You know what I mean? 95, like 95% of dudes are simps. They will put up with an ugly bitch's attitude, with an ugly bitch's shitty attitude to bone an ugly bitch. No. Like, I'm at a place, dude, she gotta be nice to me. She gotta treat me the way I wanna be treated. Or I ain't fucking, or she, or she gonna get thrown out. Bye, bitch. I'll just go and look for a different one. They're all over the place. <laughs> they really are. Like, <laughs> has anyone used the I'm pregnant card on me? Many times, many times, many times. You know what I mean? Like what'll usually happen when a female, well, what's usually happen? What I've had, well, okay, so, you guys want me to tell you a story about when a female used the I'm pregnant card on me? I mean, because I'm pretty sure I told you guys this story. I'm, I told you guys this story already. You know what I mean? So, like, so the thing is, I had this girl just try to use, I had this girl try to get me to have sex with, unprotected sex with her. You know what I mean? So that she could, you know, claim that she was pregnant by me so I'd take care of her. And I just never took off the condom. <laughs> she got mad. She was really, really, really pretty, dude. Really pretty. She was a nine, nine and a half, one million percent. You know what I mean? And she got really mad. She got really mad at me because I wouldn't take off the condom. But I was like, bro, I didn't know where she was coming from, bro. Because to me, I got to know a female for, I got to be fucking a female for at least three months before I have sex with her without a condom. Because what a lot of females do nowadays is they'll go and have unprotected sex with a bunch of other dudes. And then they'll go and have unprotected sex with a guy that has a lot of shit going for himself that she would normally never have sex with. And then, and then be like, oh, and then blame the pregnancy on him because she knows that he can take care of her. You know what I mean? And I felt like low key, that's what she was trying to do to me. But like, my thing is, I'm just gonna take the pussy and never take off the condom. <laughs> I'm not taking off the condom, nigga. Since this is the reason why females think they're higher than everyone. Yeah, that's real shit. I just want to let you know that you're not alone when it comes down to getting attacked by slanderous people. Keep your head high, Blast. That's what's up, Lily. Hey, I appreciate you, Lily. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know I'm not alone. I know it happens to every celebrity. You know what I mean? I know it literally happened to Nelly. It just happened to Nelly. It just happens. Like, if you're a celebrity, bro, like, it just comes with the territory. You know what I mean? Because, like, the reason why we are able to get to where we're at in the first place is because people aren't able to like gaslight us and fuck with our heads. So after a while, people, they get so mad and so thirsty to want to gaslight and want to hurt our feelings and shit that they just start lying about shit that like, you know what I mean? About lying about shit that most people, that is so fucked up that people don't need to see any proof to know if it happened or not. You know, such as child molestation or rape or hitting women. You know what I mean? Those three things, those, those three things, if you accuse somebody of those three, if you, if you accuse a man of those th three things, then most of the time men can't defend themselves from that shit and they just get scared and run. I'm not running any fucking where, you know what I mean? I'm still gonna make my videos. All of those people can suck my dick and I tell them to their face if I saw them, they can all suck my dick, real talk. And they know that, you know what I mean? Which is why they haven't made any more videos showing proof i would love to see some of that shit man please you know what i mean i told i told bills that niggas that niggas got his shit on the subscribers i told that nigga bills like look nigga i'll tell you what right now when i see you i'm fucking you up but the only way for me not to beat your ass is to go find evidence of me doing pedophile shit go find that proof my nigga and i'll not beat you the fuck up when i see you other than that you getting these hands pussy What's really good, bitch? And I don't want to hear none of that shit about how, oh, well, you know, you're picking on me because you're strong and I'm weak. Nah, nigga. You know what I mean? You, you should have thought about that shit before you accused a nigga of some grimy shit. You know what I mean? You wrote, you fucked around, wrote a check that your ass can't cash. I bet you'll shut the fuck up next time. Yeah? But that's just real shit. You know what I'm saying? So when you guys are going to be, when you guys are going out to be what you want to be, being, becoming big YouTubers and all of that. When you guys are going out to be big YouTubers and stuff, I want you guys to be real careful 
and just understand that when you do start pulling in really big numbers, it's kind of like a sign that you've made it. You know, when someone accuses you, uh, makes a video accusing you of some shit that you, that there's no chance in hell that you'd ever do. What the fuck? <laughs> That's just, just funny to me. Oh man. This is a loser, bro. He makes video on people who, who wasn't really on YouTube like that. Bro, he, he only can pull views when he's talking down on someone who's popular. Yeah, I mean, all he's done is prove my own popularity to myself. Real talk. Let me see. Bro, I'm really trying to pass this shit. No, I'm gonna do Family Guy reactions in like a month. But I got two strikes on this channel, I can't. Sex ads make me sick. What the hell? What the hell is a sex ad? Damn. Huh? You trying to buy some vagina? Maybe you can get it. Hmm? is like the Walmart of vagina. Clearance prices, everything must go. Go! Footsteps are so loud, bro. You ain't never lie. Don't find it. You just kind of... Bro, I was on, I brought this one female to my house to hang out and she reached inside my bag of Funyuns to eat a chip and pulled out a used condom. And, uh, you know, uh, needless to say, we did not have sex after that. You know, uh, yeah, that was the Instagram model's condom. That's the one I used on the Instagram chick. That wasn't my fault though. I don't know how it ended up in that bag either, bro. Like, what the fuck was I doing with that girl that was like, yeah, this is a great place to put this. And didn't even throw the bag away, bro. I left it out. Did you saw any YouTubers that mess with you in DreamCon? Yeah, I saw a lot of YouTubers that mess with me in DreamCon, bro. King Vader, Pierre, Luke, uh, Hardstop Lucas. Uh, I ran into Poised, he's mad cool. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I ran into a lot of YouTubers that really loved me, bro. Like Berlizzi. You know what I mean? And again, I couldn't tell you why they had so much love for me. But like, they showed me nothing but bad love, dude. And like, bro. I didn't even know. Bro. Oh my God, you're such a legend, bro. You're a goat. And I never understood that all of these YouTubers that I see, that I think are higher than me, would like, look at me in, you know, in such a, a, an awesome and endearing way, dude. I had no idea. You know what I mean? That's why, that's why I'm really glad I started going to conventions because like I had no idea that people really had love for me like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I was so used to niggas just trying to accuse me of shit I didn't do to get me to stop doing YouTube. And to tell y'all the truth, bro, like any nigga that did not go back and talk some shit on, on those people's channels that said that shit about me, bro, y'all are fucking up. Because what if I, what if, what if, what if that had pissed me off? What if those allegations had pissed me off to the point where I'd stop? I'd stop making videos. Because in my brain, I'm like, oh, word? Well, if this is what people are saying to me about me, then what's the point of me making free videos to entertain people? Like, there's no point. You know what I mean? Like, why? Like, nigga. You know what I mean? But, nah, I'm, I'm nowhere near soft enough to stop just because some bitch-ass nigga decides to come out and be like, oh, you know, my life isn't going good, and I think Blasphemous HDs is so children. Children. Da -da -da -da. Kids. You know what I mean? But I do, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all though. Anybody that comes to me and says, oh man, those are like your real friends, and, and you know what I mean? Like if you take their side, then you're bitch made to me. Like you're not my viewer. Like, there's nothing you can get. There's nothing you can say to me to make me, you know what I mean? Like, if you take their sides, if you take their side, nigga, I just, I just be like, you're not my viewer, nigga. Like, suck this dick. I'd never respect you as my subscriber. You should unsubscribe and go subscribe to them. You know, and wait for, wait for Randy to put out another video in about three years. You know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, that's real shit. My favorite. I love my BHD, the face expressions. Every bitch begins with friends. My first time in the live stream. Bro, I'm trying to. I'm trying to beat this.
But yeah, that's like my whole that's like my whole self defense mechanism against anybody who has some shit to say about me. I just tell them to suck my dick to their face in front of their friends and family. You know what I mean? And if they got an issue with that, they gonna have to do they gonna have to just do something. Oh no. No 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 no. Shit. I fucked up! Yeah, I know. That's what's up. Change? Switch games, yeah. Yeah, let's switch games, man. I have not finished this shit yet. Oh my god. Ooh. Thank you, I got the switch before the jump scares. Bills is the top of the YouTuber. We need to talk about other YouTubers' drama for views. Who does he talk? Who does he think he is? Keemstar? Bro. You miss it. The boss says, do I miss my friendship with Randy and Chavez? I really don't. It's honestly a, it's honestly like a really big weight off my shoulders, honestly. I don't have to babysit. I don't have to babysit no bitch ass niggas no more. You know what I mean? Randy crying all the fucking time. You know what I mean? About how he doesn't have what he want in life, but he's not willing to do any work to get it. Have you guys ever been around a nigga who cries about how he doesn't have what he wants in life but isn't willing to do any work to get the shit? Dude. I'm down. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't have to deal with Chavez crying because his bitch continuously fucks and sucks every other dude but him. Even though he's the nigga paying all her bills and he doesn't understand why he's in that predicament. And then when someone does when then when a nigga like me tries to help this nigga and tell him, this nigga yells and screams at me like I ain't shit. So I was like, oh word. Well, never mind then nigga. Are these popular? I mean they were like, yeah, they're on the front page. The Vermander? Okay, cool. I'm down. Let's do some Vermander. So, nah, I do not miss any of them. I really don't. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I, nigga. Yeah. Like, I was literally, yeah, I was, I was literally, like, I was literally the dude who was making everything happen. Every day I got up, I would make sure videos are getting done. I'm doing videos. I'm making shit crack. These niggas will constantly be having their emotional breakdowns and shit. I gotta tell, I gotta tell these niggas to, you know what I mean? I gotta constantly tell these niggas to shut the fuck up. If they wanna have an emotional breakdown or cry or bitch or moan, they gotta wait until after we get done filming. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. What the fuck is this? You want to see me, Mr. Vermander? The fuck I did. Get your fat ass out of here, bitch. Ugh. Nigga. Bitch is built like the state's puff marshmallow man, bitch. Damn, bitch. Jesus. How do I? Hell no, I ain't wanna see you, bitch. Oh, I don't look much better. <laughs> I look like a human toaster strudel. Goodness, I look like fat Captain Jack Sparrow, nigga. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> why aren't this month's profit as high as last month's? Nigga, you, you don't know that, nigga? Bro, each character is thick, nigga. That's... These niggas need Stairmasters. I've been looking over that piece of paper you gave me earlier, and I don't like the numbers on it. I can't make heads or tails out of that dang thing. They raise, and this is a scary game? Or is this a popular game? They raise the threshold on how much you need to donate in order to get your tax deduction. Goodness, please. Goodness Lord. See, see, I want you guys to imagine this. Can you guys imagine this, this freaking, you know what I mean? What the hell was that one chick's name? Who, what's that one pig? We, can y'all imagine this pig, Miss Piggy built bitch having the nerve to have a shitty attitude and then getting mad at you because you don't want her? 
Yeah, I play Poppy. Oh, y'all want me to finish Poppy Playtime. That makes sense. No one gets over a JP Vermander. No, sir. Not now. Not ever. But, sir. Now then, where have I been donating all my hard earned money to? Ugh. If Randy asked for a job, would I give it to him? No. Why? What, so that nigga could try to lie about some other shit? <laughs> he's, already, he's already proven to me what type of person he is. But then again, I gotta understand that you guys, you guys are a lot less experienced in life. So you guys, you guys wanna forgive and wanna forget and love people who don't love you and shit because that's what people tell you to do but i'll tell you that shit is stupid as fuck like i only love people who love me bro i'm not showing so if any of you guys meet me in person and y'all are not nice to me nigga there's no I, there's no chance in you being around me ever yeah goodness jesus what the fuck is that this bitch's breasts are bigger than the rest of her body Hello there, Dr. Either, I presume. That's me who's asking. Fantastic, I'm Morton, the nurse who transfer requests you received. This is a big ass bitch, bro. That's a huge bitch. Why would I send Randy anything? Nah. Bro, let his fat ass do, let his fat ass, like, just let him do. I, I don't, he's, he gonna, bro, who, where's the girl? Someone said it's a girl. Looks like we found you a girl. Wow. Wow. What's the messages from this so-called girl saying? I know it's a bot. That doesn't mean I can't have sex with it. What the fuck? And this game is popular. The waiting room is over here. Ain't much to say. He, this bitch is disgusting. Have I reconsidered playing Slender to eight pages? Oh God, Lord, I don't deserve that. What the hell is this crazy ass sounds, bro? This is scary, low key. <sighs> Holy shit, bro, she ugly as fuck. <sighs> but yeah, bro, my advice to you guys would be make sure to, you know what I mean? Like, make sure to be around people who love and respect you. Don't kick it with people who treat you like shit. You know what I mean? But then again, I guess a lot of people do that. I mean, I guess a lot of people do that. So a lot of people are used to that type of thing, but that's not my thing. You know what I mean? Because me, I know whoever's around me, I bring value to them. Whoever's going to be around me, they're going to like, they're gonna get a lot of value just from being around me. Like, I'm not about to take somebody's shit just to help them. So... What the fuck? Why well, I gotta be the big bitch? Ew, is this my penis? My dick fat as shit, damn. I'm about to go use this. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bruh. Oh, get us some white girls. Shove the whole thing in there. Don't even spit on that shit first. Okay, Lang Boyd, reason severe back injury. Next dosage, 1 a.m. Room number 2A. Nigga, what the fuck is this game? What the fuck?
What the fuck? Everything all right in here? I'm fine, Doc. Matter of fact, I feel like I could walk out of here right now. See, I can't even laugh without it hurting him. This is exactly why I said, Lang baby, please stay off the roof. It's dangerous. as fuck. Yeah, it's really about keeping around people that respect you, bro. Had to cut off a nigga yesterday. Probably gonna fight him tomorrow. That's real shit. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many bitch-ass niggas in the world that... sound way better. Why your voice sound way much so much better? There, there you go. Told you. Yeah, it's almost as if if you don't drink water, you get dehydrated. It's wild. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, can you uh boot Venom? I want you to. Oh my bad, I'm sorry, I'm streaming. I'm, I was I was talking to somebody. What were you saying? You went to you went to uh, Albertsons or Smith's? Yeah. Right. Hell yeah. Yeah. Much, most, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah, you got some watermelons? Mmm, three packs of chicken, nice. Yeah. You don't? Understandable. That's understandable. Yeah, that's why you gotta keep drinking a bunch of water. I changed the game to scrutinize. What's this stuff? It was man in the window? Game is scary as shit, bro. I should get to my computer. What's that about? Oh, is that a, a puppet game? Yeah. Cool. Oh my god. Okay. 
Oh my God. Ah, I never thought I'd be playing this game again. <laughs> this game fucked with me, man. I did not. Peter and get the night started. What? What you say, bitch? The fuck? Close the windows. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, 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 how the hell do I close this shit? Get the, eh, eh. Uh. Lock, damn you. And how do I lock the doors, guys? Scrutinized intro sounds. Damn it. But yeah, bro, I had this one girl try to get me on some pregnancy shit. It was at a, it was this one chick I was messing with. We was, um, we had been, we had been like, we had been fucking for like three, four years. Yeah, I mean, we've been fucking for like three, four years. And then we stopped, we stopped messing around for like a year and a half. Bro, I'm gonna tell you how much of a gold digger this female was. This chick was such a gold digger. And mind you, I love gold diggers. You know what I mean? I actually like to date gold diggers. You know, it's really funny because Oh my God, that scared the shit out of me. It's really funny because they always end up buying me shit. <laughs> and they're the gold digger. Should be funny as fuck. No. Open. No, don't open that. Close the latch. Close the latch. And lock windows. How the hell keep lights on? How the hell do I lock this damn window? Oh, there it is. Figured it out. But, um... You know what I mean? So this chick, she came back after um after a year. And tried to, you know what I mean? And tried to, oh, so anyway, so this is how much of a gold digger this chick was, bro. She hit me up. She didn't even hit me up when she was coming back around, bro. She freaking, um, she came to my house unannounced unannounced right to see if I still lived in that big ass house anymore <laughs> like she didn't hit me up she only came over to she came over to see if I lived in the house still and when I did still live in the house then she she started fucking me again like <laughs> but that's something I'm cool with though cause like you know what I mean like you know I just understand that nearly all females are gold diggers. They just, some of them are, just don't talk about the shit. But, like, I'm completely cool with that. Okay, close the door. Check the, check this bullshit. Okay, we good. <sighs> okay. Shit. Shit. I hate this game. My God. Last night, I thought I heard something outside my house. Bro, so, bro, she really need to, I like gold diggers. You know what I mean? Gold diggers are great fucking people. You know what I mean? I thought I heard something outside my house. I'll be right back, guys. I'm about to go get some water. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Thanks. So I promptly checked my security cameras to see if uh, what it was and saw a strange man creeping around. Hey, yo, Deadly, the easiest way to get me to see your comment is to donate. That's like the easiest way for me to see your stuff. But you said something about if you get scared, then it's scary, and if you don't get scared, that's really scary? That's cool. Make sure to stay hydrated, guys. Keep drinking water. <sighs> but yo, so, Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, I wish I had the strap. You guys are gonna help me on, you guys are gonna have to help me on what to do during this game though, cause like, you know what I mean? As of today, we've notified the agency of a potential suspect. Damn, he's involved in a sex trafficking ring? Shit, bro. Uh. Your comments haven't been read since you joined the live stream? Yeah, my bad about that deadly kills, man. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard for me to see all the comments, but you know, lights throughout my home are randomly turning off without me touching any of the switches. Also, if I leave my security camera light on too long, the breaker trips. I'd like a quote as soon as possible. I kind of forgot how to play this game. I haven't played this in a long time. Like, uh, what, 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 what am I doing, guys? Yeah. But for starters, should the window be closed and locked? Yeah, I closed all the windows. I know about that. Are you on Twitch or just on YouTube? I'm just on YouTube, guys. Let's see. All right, in like 25 minutes, I'm gonna take a break, y'all. Matter of fact, in like 25 minutes, unless unless we reach like, you know what I mean? Unless we unless we really get the stream up there, then I'm gonna take a break. I'm probably gonna like roll out for like a couple hours so I can upload some videos because we still need to upload for the day, right? Yeah. How many videos you get up? What video is it? Okay, is it is it yellow? Why were, dude, all of the videos we've been putting up lately, lately have been yellow. Okay. Can you ban the bot? Which one's my bot, which one's the bot? Why are you trying to get jump scared? Bro, I'm playing this shit for y'all, nigga. You think I wanna play this shit, nigga? You think I'm ready to go night night, nigga? Hey, just take one up from Corey, but open the closet door behind you so you know when someone closes it. Okay, that's a good idea, actually. Ha, 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 ha. My God, I do not like this game. Footsteps, man. So, yo, what type of story you guys want to hear about? What type of story? You guys want to hear about a story of a fight? You guys want to hear a story of a bully? You guys want to hear stories about some panty draws I got that, I mean, it was kind of cool. Bro, I swear to God, bro, I was, I ran into this female this weekend, bro. This female kept low key, like throwing me little bitty subtle ass hints. I didn't know if what she was, I didn't know if she was really like hinting that shit though. She was throwing me these hints. Bro, she was there, bro. This was that. This is what female said to me, bro. She's like, "That's why I, ooh, I like daddy. He always gets the panties." And I was like, "What the fuck?" I was trying to figure out, like, is this female telling me that she wants me to? That she she wants me to fuck? Like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. What the fuck? Cool. I miss you so much, BHD. Bruh, I missed y'all too, man. My bad. I took some, I did take a long ass time off and shit. You know what I mean? I was doing a bunch of other shit. You know what I mean? I do not know how to play this game. I'm gonna have to come back and play this game when I know how to play it, y'all. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start some other shit. That's some Final Fantasy. Man Eater, Outlast 2, Resident Evil Village, Scrutinized, Among Us, Cyberpunk Dead by Daylight. The update is 34 gigs? Motherfucker, what? Oh, Elden Ring. Update, 4 gigs. Update, oh, 
Hell yeah. We're gonna play some Grand Theft Auto 5, y'all. Or 6 or whatever the fuck. What's this game? What's it called? <sighs> but yeah, y'all, my whole dating strategy, bro, my whole dating strategy is just like to make a bunch more videos for you guys, maybe in like a year and a half or some change. You know, my whole dating strategy is just to like have sex with uh, girls in America, but never catch any feelings for any of them. Because like, you know, fe American females, they're really shitty when it comes to dating. You know what I mean? But like, and maybe if I get a girlfriend or some shit, I'm gonna find me a girl in like Thailand or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna get any American women pregnant unless I find a girl that's like a real, a real one, you know? Unless I find a girl that ain't got a whole bunch of side niggas and all of that shit. You know what I mean? That's like really, really down for me and shit. What the fuck is this terrifying shit? Mike. Oh, okay. What in God's name? But my whole thing is I'm, I'm you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm looking forward to, the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? But yeah, I'm gonna go to like Thailand and find me a find me a female in one of these other places where the women are more submissive. You know I mean, where the women are taught to be submissive, because like I've had it happen where I've gotten girls and then made them be submissive to me, like like had like made them submit to me, and then they'll get around their masculine female friends, and then the masculine female friends will convince them will turn them masculine, you know what I mean? And then the bitch goes masculine and starts playing games and shit. But that's just the way, that's just the way it is. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on, dude? What the fuck is this? Help! Bro, somebody let me out of the sex dungeon! Bro, I'm tired, I'm not coming. I ain't coming off this shit. These chains are rusted. Why is my heart beating? What's going on? Help me. Help me. Help! Rape! Sometimes you have to plunge into darkness to get out of a closed loop. Press F. Why would I plunge into darkness? Bro, you gonna do a story time? All right, what type of story you guys want? Blaster over here playing games we want. What do you wanna play? Man, that shit don't matter. Ah! Ah! What? Yeah. Oh God. Okay, all right. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. Rape! Mom! You over here playing games we want you to play. You need to play something you want to play. Yeah, Negro, please. I fell for that before. Help! What the hell? Okay, plunge into darkness. That's the little... What's up, people? Play mother. Move! Move! Help! What? This isn't sexy like you said it was gonna be. Risa? Damn it, this is not attractive. I'm just gonna start using my, 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 my ex's names. This isn't sexy! This is not sexy! Help! Help! Day four without vagina. The walls are starting to close in on me. 
Oh! What was that? I ain't with this shit! Damn it! Now, bitch, if this is a prank, you jump out? What the fuck is that, bro? Bitch, that's a... Bitch. Yo. What's that? Oh, no, 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 no! 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 Help me! Oh my god. Okay, I found one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, if I start rapping, I'll feel better. Ooh. Look, I need a freestyle. Uh, they killing me. Killing me with this beat. This bullshit, bro. I just touched a hand of bloody feet. That's just not a treat. I wish I could go somewhere just to beat my meat. I would feel less afraid if I could just skeet. This shit ain't no treating. Fuck this bullshit, bitch. I don't want this meeting. Oh shit, she freaking. Don't give no fucks, bitch. In this house, I'm tweaking. Fuck is all these sounds, nigga. Go to sleep. <laughs> uh. Now I'm fucking sleeping. This game is hella weird as shit. This house is fucking creeping. I don't think I'm about to beat it. Dog, don't yell. Just scared the living shit out of me, damn it. Okay, uh, back to bloody ass floors. Except this, except this room ain't got shit in it, including no doors. I'm about to yell for it. Oh, I'm about to run it. I need me a pistol, nigga! What's that? Hey, are you the person? Oh, no, 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 no! 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 I'm scared! Help! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I done lost off the beat. Ain't fucking with this game no more, bro. It is scaring me. Shit. Uh, this place is covered with some chains, bitch. Oh, hey, what's up, my nigga? It does not make no sense. Fuck this. Ooh, just thought I fucking saw a ghost. This bullshit is some stupid bullshit, bitch. I'm in this post hole. Ooh. I need a beat. Somebody hook your boy up with the beat. Oh, go back to sleep. Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga! Bro, I'm surrounded by these pillars, though. I ain't doing with this shit, bro. This shit's doing the most. This shit's creeping the fuck out of me. This shit's scary. Oh, my God. I forgot how to freestyle. That's how scary this shit is, nigga. Bro, what type of house is this? You should check out next post disturbing things found on the internet. Also, Hell of a Boss is uploading a new video tomorrow. That's fire, bro. I can't wait to see it. Uh, Hell of a Boss. What the fuck is that? Hell of a Boss is super fire. Hell of a Boss is super fire. That shit get way more views than even top view Markiplier. Bitch, I am not tired. This game is not shit. I do not feel inspired. I swear on God, my senses are on fire. Bitch, I'm about to run. I need a, I need a fucking knife or at least maybe just a gun. This shit, it don't be fun, but I'm gonna still play it. Monsters in this bitch, please don't be slaying, bitch. I'm just saying, let me up about this bitch. Hopefully a son of a bitch don't jump out on some scary shit. I hella hit a trick. If it's a ghost, punch him in his fucking penis cause he's do the most. Bitch is hella sheeting. Shitting on a fat, bad bitch. That's where I'm skeeting. What was that? What? Okay. No. No. 
Oh my God, what the fuck is this? Oh, thank you for the donation, Matthew for, for, Ferreira. I am so sorry, man. I for, forgot to call your donation out. Oh, snap. Did I just eat that fucking bloody piece of meat? Ooh. I just ate it while it's bloody. Maybe that's the reason why I'm groggy, feeling cruddy. This house is hella, this house is hella stuffy. F some shit. Hopefully these ghosts are scary like me and run from me. Please wait. Why am I shit blinking? Stop blinking! Help! Help! Shit! 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 Is that my mom? Yeah. Yeah. Shit! No! No! Where is the exit? I don't want to be here. Shit! I like when you curse, laugh, getting jump scares, and yelling. Why is my light? Who needs to place? I need to replace the batteries on this shit. Go to sleep. And we're back. And we are back. In this scary shithole, people. Oh! Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. There's poop, blah! Shit. I wasn't scared. I'm just cautious. Something jumps out. I'm stabbing it and right in the gu right in the gabba. Okay, press this button. E. No. Bro, what? Any of you guys ever played this game? Can you tell me what to do? Tell me what you want. Uh, uh, uh. Tell me what you need. Tell me this game ain't scary enough for you, babe. Shit! What's in here? Hey! I'm not with that shit now! Yes, elevator, please don't be the grudge. Uh. They hella fucking killing me. Blood all, bloody all over the walls. Hopefully they don't spill on me. My God. Oh my God. No. 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 Okay. All right. It's not as bad as I, it could have been. Please just. Oh God. Yes. I do not want. Everything is scary. All right, we're in this bloody closet. This isn't good, but it's definitely not good. <laughs> I've never seen this game. This shit is scary as fuck. Put others to lame. This is not a game. <laughs> Treat me? Huh? <laughs> Fuck y'all! <laughs> Nigga! Why, now I'm in an insane asylum. Of course. The fuck? Hello? I just wanted to borrow some sugar. Oh god, what was that? No need to jump out and scare me. I'm white. Huh? Doesn't that lull you into a false sense of security? Oh, uh, what are we doing? Oh, uh, what are we doing? I don't do this shit, nigga. I don't do this shit. Man, I can't, I ain't, I ain't doing no more than this shit. Fuck was that? You hear that shit? Nigga, these walls are opening and closing like vaginas. The fuck? No. 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 Please. Please. Okay, so look, I get it. That water's that wall is opening. Am I hallucinating? 
Hello? I would just like the fifth artifact. Huh? Maybe with less... Maybe with less scaring the shit out of me? Please? Reflex is working too good. Y'all are funny. Oh shit, it's a dead end. Oh god. Ho! Oh. Oh, this isn't what I wanted it to be. I'm going to sleep. He woke up. And it's worse. Shit! What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? No. What the fuck is this? Okay, this is worse. Oops. Bro, am I back in the bloody shit? <sighs> Scared the shit out of me too, man. Excuse me? What? What the fuck? Nigga. Oh. This shit. What next? What the fuck was that? This game is the devil. Oh my god, light. I get out? Yes. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Thank you, Sif Wood, for the donation, man. I really appreciate you. Five Nights at Wario's 3. Oh my god. Man, anime, shut your bitch ass the fuck up, nigga. I can't stand when niggas come here and do that. Hey, man, you need to be. Hey, man, relax, man. It's not scared. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Oh god, nigga. <laughs> Relax, man. It's not that scary. Oh my god. This game was fucking terrifying, dude. I don't know how I made it through. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. Never investigate, bro. That's what this means. Never investigate. What's up, Sadie Dudley? Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I'm down. Oh my god. That game was fucked, man. That game was fucked. Bro. Bro, what's my wildest story? I don't even know, man. I got so many wild ass stories, bro. I got so many wild ass stories, bro. I wouldn't even know what was wild. I don't even know no more. You know what though? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break off the stream. I'm gonna come back a little bit later. Whoa. Jesus. Whoa. All right, so I'm about to cut the stream. I'll be back in a little. I'll be back a little bit later on. Oh my God! How long have I been streaming for, bro? Okay, three forty-five. And the other one was like an hour before this. Yeah, so I've been doing it for like five hours. Five and a half, five and a half hours. 
All right, y'all. I'll be back on a little bit later, man. I'll see y'all later, bro. Nigga. Oh, my God. I don't know how people can say this shit. Goodness, Lord. Oh, my God. Let me know when the stream is down.